What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Lazy Sunday Out of the Basement live stream. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. Sup, guys? And, of course, a very special guest, making his uh, third, fourth, fourth fifth, 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 something you like know, that. Yeah. Lukeness Monster is joining us as well today. Welcome back. Thanks for coming. What's up? Thank, back on. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's been a little while, but you know, we've had you on the channel quite a few times. So it's nice to have you on once again. It's going to be a pretty good show today. Uh, we've got some news to cover because, of course, in classic out of the basement fashion, as soon as we finished recording, figure it out. More Black Series news dropped throughout the week. So we're going to swing yes. back around, cover that stuff. We're also doing recent pickups and, you know, wherever else the conversation may lead us. But before we get into that, we've already got 84 people joining us. Thank you so much. Let's uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. But with further, without further ado, let's say what's up to everyone in the chat. We've got Young JDR. Hey, what's up? How's nice to see you. First comment. Yep. Michael Cherry's here as well. We've got uh, Wayne Duckett from the UK. Good evening to you, Wayne. They had four Dark Troopers, one 501st Jump Trooper, and three 501st Clones yesterday. More figures Jeez. on the way this week. This is getting expensive. Wow. Big week. Big week right there. But, yeah, the Black Series figures are raining currently, just like always, like this whole entire year. We've also got Freddy74 in here as so well. Freddy. Good morning to you. Daniel Hayner. We got Nate Woodard here as well. Master Razzy, Lukeness Monster in the chat. <laughs> that guy's pretty cool. That guy is pretty cool. You should subscribe <laughs> to that guy. Uh, not Obi Wan is here as well. Uh, Beardy McBearderson. That's a new name. How's it going, hey. Beardy? Welcome to the stream. Uh, we also got David Edge in here as well. Don K, Hunter Schultz. What's up, Hunter? We got Sir Pounce, Todd Fig Fury in here. You got Dan, Darth Educator. Happy Sunday, Dan. Nice to see you here. Ivan Gambino. We got Paige. She's upstairs holding it Paige. down, dyeing her hair. Right, Paige? Toxic Vision is here. Sup from Milwaukee. Ah, another Midwesterner. Hello, fellow, fellow Oper. Ope. Jay Meza, how's it it's going? Jay. Obi Sean Kenobi is in the chat as well. What is up, Obi Sean? Got hybrid toy reviews in here as well. 007. Hey. Felix is here as well. My chat refreshed. Oh. Uh, Paul Morales. Hello, Paul. Hello. We got Peak Obi Wan. Mark Colonel Angus. How's it going? Nice to see you, hey. as always. Arena's here as well. Same with Darth Xander, Saturn's visitor. Got Darth Riley in here as Yo. well. What's up, Darth Riley? Roman Graham. How's it going, Roman? Nice to see you. Roman. Happy Sunday. Ben Taylor's here as well. We also got Tony, Marvel Legends fanatic. Good afternoon to you, Tony. Alex Martinez is here as well. Captain Rex. Sam Matthews, listening as I paint a custom battle-damaged arena Boba Fett. Sweet. Okay. And by battle damage, do you mean head, head cut off? Is that the battle damage? <laughs> yeah. So that'd be Django. <laughs> oh, yeah, true, true. Django Fett, Django Fett. Get it right, Nate. Yeah, I'm I'm a fake Star Wars fan. Mm -hmm. 90s nerd life. Hello. We got news. Lit Fisto. Uh, Marlin. How's it going, Marlin? TZ's here as well. Hey. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We got Apo in here as well. That new intro, though. Yeah. Glad you guys enjoy the yeah, intro. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of positive feedback. Thank you, guys. That I, was... did, I did really like the intro. Yeah, that was, that was something we, we've talked about doing a stream intro for a long time and we finally just sat down and filmed the little goofy clips that we had in mind yeah. so yeah i think it turned out real nice ct41 is here as well daniel hayner darth xander we already said what's up to ben we got dennis z in here runner films tomas star wars collector how's it going love you too Great intro. So many intro, Funny positive hand. intro comments. Thank you. More Wagner. How's it going? 
Quentin Mims is here as well. And Rex so is saying, hey, Luke. Straight up, to Captain Luke. Rex? <laughs> the real Captain Hello. Rex is in here. I can't believe it. <laughs> What's up, Captain? Sean Dixon. What's up, my dudes? First time catching you live. Well, welcome to the hey. stream, Sean. We're happy to have you here. Glad you could make some time on Sunday to hang out with us. We appreciate that. Rob, good evening to you. Got Commander Cook in here. So if you're out of the basement, how did you get there in the first place? Well, see, it could be that we're filming from out of the basement or we are no longer in the basement. And so we're out of the basement. It works both ways. I'm in a ranch, so I <laughs> stay on false advertisement all day. Yeah, Justin doesn't have, but I assure you, most of our videos are filmed in an actual basement. That is true. Fatmatic, how's it going? We got Benny in here as well. S Dog G fifty C. David Edge. Tom Bowling. What's up, Tom? We got James Vincent in here as well. Bodie Collection. What's up, Bodie? Scott Smith. Tom the Perceptor. We got Mr. Grudge. We have the Nerd Alert. That intro is epic. Thank you. Samuel Edwards. What is up? Obi Sean Kenobi, Lukeness, what's up? You're a busy boy. OOTB yeah. stream early and 1313 stream tonight. That is true. That is you true, are, yes. You you literally have it's a full day of grind. full day of live streaming ahead of you. <laughs> yep. Glad we, we could squeeze all, you in. Yeah. We forgot to tell you that this is also a 24 hour live stream and you're locked in. Yeah, for that, sorry. So sorry. You know no. what? I'll just I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll give uh 1313 and Skywalker the link and I'll just have them join in here. Oh and, yeah. yeah. <laughs> give them the 24 link. 24 hours straight. You can't leave. Uh, David, Tom, what's up? What's up, David? We, we also got the link tree in here from Nightbot. If you want to follow <laughs> us on our various social medias, we have a link tree now. It's very convenient. It's very yes, convenient. It is. Yorkie's here as well. And we got C. Mackie Jonah, how's it going? Glendon, Greg Exel, Mythosaur2187. Big John, 1991. Finally, have a Sunday off where I can listen. But well, what's up, Big John? Thanks for, thanks for joining us. William P is here as well. CT41 brings up a great point. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. Yeah. Jazzy 35K, hello. Michael Neary, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Got David Tom in here. I'm here for the Cleons, but I'll stay for the Trek. Yes, this is Star Trek related. Uh, we're going to be talking about Picard. We're going to be talking about Seven yeah. and Nine. This we're is all be, uh, Star Trek. Star Trek: The Wrath of Khan. It's actually a great movie. It's a great movie. We got Christopher in here as well. Hello, Christopher. Yo. Soup Dragon is here. Ooh, Nightbot coming in with the channel membership. If you'd like to directly support us, channel membership, ninety-nine cents a month. Get some cool emojis, chat, channel See, members. Yeah, emoji spam, spam. Emoji spam. Nightbot is there whenever you tell him to be there. You have to give right. him a command. S spam protection. He goes on break. I don't know yeah. what what the deal is. It worked for one stream, and that mm -hmm. was it. Darth Clueless is here as well. Chaz the Guru. How's hey, it Chaz. going, Chaz? Brian Myers. And let's see. We got ooh a Discord. Join that Discord. Check it out. Master Jedi Trader 420s here as well. Aaron, Aaron. Drury. Hey. How's it going, Aaron? We got the Highland Collector in here. Oh, hey. I watch How's your videos. Going? How's it going? We also got Landspeeder Luke. Hello, so Luke. Luke. I watch your videos, too. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we all? Don't we all? I mean, yeah, we should. Yeah. Dill, how's it going? Let's see. What do we got here? What do we got here? Ooh, Quentin Mims. My target has full pegs of all three exclusives and 20 or more so saws and i saw one Endor village leia you know i actually saw a new republic security droid yesterday on the pegs at our local target. nice i was like whoa but i didn't yeah. buy i left it there i left it there there was a yeah. more important pickup oh uh, yeah for that target figure yesterday. i feel like you only need the Ooh. one though not yeah. going for an army build on on it Mine's still sitting in my pile of loot, so that could tell you how. I mean, I'm sure it's a great figure, but I'm just not. It in is. A, I'm not in a rush. Not in a rush. Gamers on 24, welcome to the stream. And on that note, 
we have said what's up to everyone in the chat so thanks for joining us we've got 139 people in here already smash like hit that subscribe button if you are new mm. saturn's vision been binging landspeeder luke's videos all day they're so watchable they're just so watchable they really are but before we jump into the news and all of that good stuff we of course have a special guest with us today we've got lukeness monster joining us for a another time here on the <laughs> channel and we appreciate you coming and uh joining us today so for the people out there who are unfamiliar with you can you just tell us a little bit about your channel and what you do yeah, of course. So um, I mainly do Star Wars The Black Series news. That's that's my bread and butter. But I also do reviews. Um, I, I started a new series a little while back where I do worst to first, where I kind of just like rank figures worst to first based on various topics and a whole lot more content like that. So pre all pretty much Black Series related. So if you do like the Black Series, go check it out. There you go. Nice. Short and sweet. And Lukeness is always on the ball with the news. True. It doesn't news. matter if he's in his car, just got off work. <laughs> in the airport. In the airport, he's filming that news video. And he's the getting news, it out. The news is coming one way or another from Lukeness, so you can always count on him for breaking news all the time. What's up, Kabash? What's up, Welcome Alex? To the stream, Alex. G Force. And there is a link for Lukeness's channel in the description. I would definitely recommend you go over there and drop a subscription and watch some of those videos. Yeah, he's he's part of the Black Series, you know, YouTube Avengers. Exactly. You know, he's he's in that crowd. So we got Star Wars collector here. Lukeness is so underrated. He deserves so many subs. I agree. I agree. Thank you. I appreciate it. We got we got the the Lukeness love going on here right now. <laughs> we also Some got G Force Racing love. here. But yeah, yeah. so uh, we uh, I want to get into this right away because I missed it. I don't know how I missed this when I was doing notes for our episode of Figure It Out. What did we Bec miss? We missed because we bring up the... So let me change it. Where's our fancy thing? There it is. Breaking <laughs> news, even though it's not yes. breaking anymore. Um, so we brought up the price of the Return of the Jedi 40th Anniversary Deluxe. And I even used Yak Face's graphic in here. Mm -hmm. Um, gave him photo credit, of course. But I i don't know how I missed this. That this whole graphic is... There's a mystery figure right here. <laughs> I thought this was oh. just like the logo because it's the 240th. But then I saw these question marks. And, you know, actually reading the article, there is what appears to be a third deluxe item. Mm. So I missed this. We missed this on Figure It Out. No word what the character may be yet, but there is a pretty short list of who it may be if it's a repack. A third deluxe may also indicate a third wave as well, which I do think we'll see a third wave. Yeah. Huh. So... But this is a mystery. Deluxe as that's, well. That's pretty interesting. I, I don't know really off the top of my head what that could be. I mean, my mind instantly went to Emperor with the throne, but $33.99 is way too cheap for that. But... Yeah. Marina. Okay, that that does make sense. Gamgard was indeed a deluxe figure. <laughs> deluxe yeah. Lando. No. <laughs> yep. It's it comes with all the other Landos. Yeah, it's a it's a Lando box set. It's a Lando build up pack. Yeah. The Lando Great. build up pack. <laughs> yeah, he's it's... gonna come with the alternate uh, Empire Strikes Back uh, Han yeah. Solo outfit. Right. Right. When he just puts Han's clothes on. For some reason, Akbar even though, with the cereal. Yeah, Akbar. If it yeah. came with a glider, Quentin, I'd be down for that. That would be sick. I would love to see uh, a deluxe yeah. Ewok with a glider. But honestly, I think yeah. uh, I think Chat's probably right on the money, and it probably will just be Gamorrean Guard, which mm -hmm. it's really not that big of a deal. I I could use a couple more Gamorrean Guards, so. Uh, no, no word on Jabba yet. Yeah, that's let's sucks let's if hope they don't do a Jabba. I I really think that if they don't give us Jabba and Emperor with the throne, they're that's like really dropping the ball for Return of the Jedi figures that are hot and that need a re-release because they're just For're crazy sure. expensive on the aftermarket. 
like I can't believe how much job of the hut goes for. It's it's mm-hmm. crazy. Ooh, left coast, I like that. A vac metal three PO. Ooh. I'd be so down for that. Kinda That'd like the Bandai. Cool. Yeah, model Bandai kit. model kit. Yeah, that would be sick. Yeah, I mean he is a big boy, but <sighs> have they done a carded figure with a chunky figure? No. But I'm I don't think they have. But if they could shove Boba Fett and all the deluxe accessories into a pill, I feel like Gamgard could fit just fine. But I would be concerned about the, you know, structural integrity. Could it take the weight yeah, right. of the figure over time or would it just like slowly peel off the bubble? Nice, mm-hmm. Ivan. That's a it's a great set. But again, goes for yeah, ridiculous. Folks, I guess. True, true. They could do yeah. it. They could yeah. do it. Oh yeah, that's true. Because like Marvel Legends, I I have my carded Rhino sitting right over here. Dude, I would take a weak waist gift guard. I mean, I don't know why it'd be deluxe, That'd be cool. but I'd take one all day, every day. Yeah. The yeah. larger dancer from Jabba's Palace, the one with like eight Boobs. teats. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I'd buy it because it's Jabba's Palace. Right. That's like that is one figure I've been I've been trying to knit uh find on in three and three quarter inch. That's like it's one gonna, it's gonna be green slime C three PO. Yes. When he gets knocked over. I'd actually buy that. That'd be cool. I like Sean Dixon's idea. Three PO and Salacious Crumb Deluxe set. You could like the Bandai model kit because the Bandai model kit does include an alternate eye that you can have like pulled out of three PO's socket. Where like yeah, you know, Salacious Crumbs munching on him. Yeah, that came with the Bandai model kit. I would love to see that in uh, in Black Series form too. Oh, cool! The timers, the timer is working with Nightbot too. I'm nice. like learning. I'm learning Nightbot for the first time. It's it's Whoa. useful. So every twenty minutes, I set that one. So Whoa. it worked. Technology works. Yeah, that's awesome. But uh, yeah, I think chat, you guys are on the money with gam guard and yep. i i have two and i would honestly probably be down for a third not even gonna lie yeah like like i said a couple couple weeks ago or maybe even last stream i feel like i'm gonna go hard on the return of the jedi vintage card back stuff because return of the jedi is my favorite star wars movie the card backs are gonna look so nice mm-hmm. so i'm i'm probably gonna go go a little dumb for the uh, card backs on uh, return of the jedi yeah mm-hmm. so uh yeah we missed that so apologies just didn't nice. read the whole thing you know Oops. read the article don't yeah. just read the headline don't be like me whoops and then so this is separate because some people were saying that this was it this is separate mm-hmm. um the return of the jedi anniversary black series admiral akbar this is the con exclusive right mm-hmm. yeah, yeah i think okay. it's in london comic-con yeah yeah, October 28th to November 1st. This is the Kenner Admiral Akbar, And to get this right out of the way, it looks like that on purpose mm-hmm. because it is based off of the Kenner deco of the yeah. original figure. So that's why the paint is like a lighter tone and he has like crackhead, like eye Yeah, the big syndrome. yellow eyes. He also and, comes and with the, the baton thing. Right, the baton, which came with the original figure. So... Yeah, I mean, perfect exclusive, like we always talk about. It's a completely harmless exclusive if you want it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's there for you. And if you don't want it, you don't have to buy it. It's uh, about as simple as it gets when it comes to exclusives. Yeah, so there was a bit of controversy with this one. Um, but, yeah, like, it's supposed to be that lighter, like, almost orangish. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, coloring on him does he have the yellow stripe on the black series figure uh yeah Yeah. you can see it sweet so there you go yeah okay you can't see it you can see it just barely right there though right he was turned a little bit more yeah i feel like this is uh harmless you know but of course there was plenty of outrage about now the dh-17 that came with the new republic security droid was cast in black plastic and had the chrome on the tip of the scope and the barrel Mm -hmm. so i'll knock it a couple points because i love the dh-17 that has the chrome paint on it 
Mm-hmm. The one that came with the Hoth Rebel Soldier, it was just like that. It's just cast in that sparkly gray. Mm-hmm. But the one that comes with the New Republic, it makes a difference. It I know makes the, a world of difference. The original Akbar came with the silver tip too. Yeah, nice, nice. So that's a, a little disappointing, but it's like I already have an Admiral Akbar. I was never in a million years gonna go for this one. Yeah. Both of you guys passing? Pass. I think I'm gonna try to pick it up only because it might uh gain some value kinda like the Boba Fett did, but mm. I don't think it'll be near as much. Yeah. Mm. I'm, well, I'm pretty sure the two Amazon figures, or at least Greedo and Obi Wan, have definitely uh like accumulated some minor value. I know the yeah. Jawa is still pretty easy to get though. Right. But still, I mean it's cool for people that want it. I'm sure it's probably going to be pretty easy to get i don't think there's any uh details about how we're going to be able to get this but yeah yeah and not obi-wan i don't know because the uniform and he's like a little shorter and a little more stout like i don't know radis would need a new head sculpt there's no way there's no way you could reuse admiral akbar's head for that that's a completely yeah. different face I yeah, think it's... yeah, I think Radis has like a bigger chin, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think you could reuse it. You'd have to do a new sculpt. Nah. Yeah. I don't nah. Know. I don't know. I don't know. Nope. But I mean, they could do a new head sculpt, and maybe if it was like a similar looking uniform. But I think the uniform is also so different. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah, the uni- maybe there's some debate on the uniform. Click to the wide picture. Click to that wide. This one? Wide- no. Well, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So we can at least see the costumes. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't. I could... <laughs> <laughs> right, right, exactly. Yeah, I think, I think they sure. could get away with a new overlay, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, cause well, yeah, cause they would have to change like the little rank plate. Cause he has an overlay yeah. on him, so they'd be able to. Yeah, why not? Would it be a big seller though? I don't know. Probably not. Ooh, we got Richie joining us today. Finally caught a live stream. Hey. What's up, Richie? Also got Hooter. Hey, Hooter. What's up? And uh, Dan, I do not. I haven't heard anything about Halloween Boys. Nope. Just that but... that we're expecting a third one. But we don't know what it is. Yep. Yeah. Brian, if it's on card, I want it. See, that's who this is for. That's why these are completely harmless mm-hmm. releases. The 40th Return of the... They've done it for Star Wars. They've done it for Empire. They did a couple for Phantom Menace. They're completely harmless. It's just for the people who like the cards. Mm-hmm. Yep. No, nothing wrong with with these releases. What's up, Demon? What's up, Demon? <clears throat> hey, SQ, there is an all-new Sculpt Black or Satin coming out. The mm-hmm. comic one, my theory on that is that they created that probably like over a year ago, like before Book of Boba Fett and anything. It was just bad timing. Yeah. It's in that comic line. <laughs> um, but there are they are doing a new Sculpt Black or Satin. Yep. Which is going to be hopefully amazing. I think it will. I think we're... We'll be just fine. Yeah. True hybrid. You want to know what I think about those Target exclusives, though? I think we have waited all this time for Antok and Galen. I fear they're just going to be eternal peg warmers now. That's my new... Because they're, like, flooding the Targets with Antok and Galen. And I'm like... (sighs) They're not the most appealing figures ever. They don't come with a lot of stuff. They got the exclusive price point. I'm a little I'm actually, worried. I'm kind of surprised Tika is uh, sticking around. Ooh. Well, it's a $28, I, I, $27 yeah. job. 20, yeah, I saw full yeah. pegs of them, and I'm like, 28 bucks. I just can't. True. I can't bring myself to pick it up. Yeah, I passed on Tika when I found him at one, the Target that's a little bit farther away than us, Nate, and there was a whole bunch there. Mm-hmm. And it just felt kind of odd being diehard black series fan in passing but i'm like 27 28 dollars for a jawa i'm just like i do like the junk because mm-hmm. i like world building and i like little it's and bits Ooh, 32 at your target 
Do you live in like a big Ugh. metropolitan area? Yeah, them big city targets have them big city prices. <laughs> I agree with that as well, Dan. The mustache is like printed on the lips on a lot yep. of them. Yeah, I was I was lucky enough. My and my Antoc was a pre-order too, but clean mustache on mine at least. But yeah, it's like, you know, for someone like me, like I bought the Antoc and the Galen and I got them in hand and it's like I've waited so long for them. I'm just kind of like, all right, here they are. More figures for the shelf. <clears throat> so Highland Collector saw Tika in store pass because it was 33 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. Nope. Nope. I don't like that. Too expensive, but I do like at least seeing the figures because a lot of times we don't even see the exclusives. They just come and go and you That's know, true. you, you mm -hmm. get one case per store. They're gone in an instant. You never see it ever again. So, cause recently I, I've been seeing the target, you know, black series figures, the power Rangers exclusive stuff, uh, exclusive Marvel legends figures, DC stuff. I'm just like, wow, like, I can't remember a time when I've seen so many Target exclusive figures all at once yeah. on the pegs together. Kind right. of feels good. It kind of feels good, but yeah. SDOG, I mean, we got Lukeness in here, so you're gonna get him riled up with this talk. He's gonna he's gonna start going on a fives rant. Well, I gotta Wait. read the comment now. Where is it? Oh, Five. okay. <laughs> fives confirmed in the Black Ooh, Series, Lukeness. Confirmed. Where is it at? <laughs> where is it at you made that video like two confirmed. years ago at this point. that was a long time ago yeah it's it's still <laughs> confirmed trust me take my word for it. no yeah i'm joking but hopefully one day fingers crossed they've got it the notch the notch the they, notch they made there. the notch for it and they did it for cat or for one uh arc umbra right yeah, oh, yeah. they put umbra, it on the other yeah. side so mm -hmm. it's like he's coming fives is coming Oops, Hunter, thank you. Speaking imagine of paying fives. Yeah, five dollars. <laughs> imagine paying that oh. for a Grogu <laughs> two years from now. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> that Grogu in the main line, it's one of it's seriously in the galaxy packaging. It's like the first miss of the entire galaxy packaging since the main line galaxy stuff started in twenty twenty. I feel like Grogu is the first big miss. Mm-hmm. Like that release is brutal. Yeah, even even with because we did eventually learn that it does come it does come with another head, right? The closed eye head, but it's like not yes. advertised. Yes. Even with the closed eye head, I'm still like, eh, twenty five bucks too much. Well, my biggest thing is that like anybody who wanted a Grogu and Pram probably had every chance to get either the first Mando build a pack or the like muddy Mando one that has it already in it. Mm -hmm. And those ones were what, like 33. So for $7 more, you get a whole Mando figure and a ton of other accessories. Right. Yeah. Does the Maldo Kreese Mando come with a pram or no? No, it comes okay. with like a little thing with, I think like the, the thing of eggs though, the fish eggs or the frog eggs, but no pram. <laughs> Yeah. Whenever that figure comes out. Right. Tika and Galen are such random figure choices, but seeing obscure characters is always a good sign of the health of the line, especially for collectors. I do agree. Maybe it's just because I'm not the biggest Rogue One fan in the world. Mm hmm So, yeah, that's a good point. It's a good point. Yeah. That is true. <clears throat> yes. Find him! He's nowhere to be found. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully one day. Yeah, one day, and he'll be Target exclusive. Oh! <laughs> I would riot. <laughs> What's up, lung guys? Yeah, I, would, I, would hope, I would hope that that would not happen, but, I mean, you never know. Echo was yeah, Target already, exclusive. I feel like there's, like, a good 50-50 chance he's exclusive at this point. Yeah. If he's a Walgreens exclusive, though, I'm burning Walgreens to the ground. <laughs> No more. I'm glad, though, at, at the very least, uh, like the three or the two twelve trooper ended up being really easy to get and went to like fan channels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I'm I'm glad I'm like, do that with every tar <laughs> or every Walgreens exclusive figure, please. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. right. Make them fan channel afterwards. So we all get a fair shot. Yeah. Hybrid, Hybrid. toys says are you guys excited for the new target short trooper from andor short troopers are my favorite stormtroopers so i'm here for it 
Lucas, how are you feeling about the new Shore Trooper? Uh, I already have the original Shore Trooper. Um, so it's one of those, like, if I find it in stores, I'll definitely pick it up because I can always use more. Mm -hmm. But it's also one of those, if I don't find it, it's not the end of the world. So Yeah, I, I, I'm same. I love yeah. Imperial Troops. I love Army Builders. So when I see them on the shelf, it's hard to resist. Like, the Mando Stormtrooper, every time I saw it back when that wave was out, I just, yep. I, mm -hmm. I just have to. I have to pick it up. That's probably how I'm going to be with the Scout Trooper on the Return of the Jedi card. 100%. Like every time I wow. see that, I'm just going to have well, to buy it. And the Storm Trooper, too, because the Storm yeah, Trooper is yeah. going to be on There's Return some... of the Jedi card back. That's why I'm like, I think it's honestly great. a great time to jump into the Black Series with all this controversy and outrage aside. It's like we have prime time opportunity coming into 2023 if you were mm -hmm. jumping into the line. Mm -hmm. Granted, there's not a Luke in the 40th. There might be in Wave 3. It, Wait, I'm, I'm sure they'll yeah, repack Endor so. Luke. Yeah. At the very least, Endor Luke. Yeah. The, the thing that surprises see. surprises me, though, is what there's three different Luke outfits from Return of the Jedi. I guess mm -hmm. four, technically, if you include like the little flap on his, on his uh, shirt from the final duel. Yeah. But are they going to release all three of those in the last wave, or are they only going to pick one to do? <laughs> It's going to be Luke, Luke, Luke. Um, that's a good question. I feel like they're probably not going to reissue the uh, the Walmart one with the overlay mm -hmm. because we have that Mandalorian version right around the corner. Yeah. I feel like mm -hmm. they'll probably just do Endor Luke because you can just take the Endor gear off and then it's basically the throne room costume underneath. Very true. But you don't get the white, you don't get the flap piece. But yeah. On the original figure, Justin, isn't that a removable piece on the blue line? Yeah, it. Yeah, because I was looking for that. I'm like, wait, where is that piece? Because I, I mean, that figure came out such a long time ago. I just forgot about it. Forgot yeah. about the removable thing. I've been trying to find it. I think it's in my accessory. I bin. I do really wish they would redo the final dual Luke though with the new the new Mando molds. Yeah, I feel like that'd be a missed opportunity if they didn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would love to see that. The new Mando figure looks so good. So it really does. I I'm totally ready for that, and I would totally buy the Return of the Jedi version. Yeah, dude, Demon, I, I, so Lukeness. After <laughs> seeing your video about the uh, the Lukeness monster clone trooper, mm -hmm. I'm like, I think we need a two pack out of the basement trooper with our channel header i need to commission that or i need someone cool. to do it right. for us well uh lung guy's hideout he was in the chat earlier did mine so oh okay um, nice because we uh, i want to do the clone troopers that have our like channel header art the max rebo legion the max rebo legion kind of like the ahsoka cool. legion then you guys got to do the the um, uh, the selfie series and then put your heads on it. That'd be sick. Yeah. Yes. I'm definitely doing selfie series. There's there's no yeah. no way I'm not going to do that. Oh right, right. Tomas, uh, <laughs> what, I, what what do you think, Lukeness? What about your selfie series figure? Is that going to be the face reveal? <laughs> I'm need... definitely buying a selfie series. I don't think it'll be the face reveal though, because I've actually already filmed a face reveal. Uh, no. No comments, no what? questions other than that. But... You heard it here, maybe first. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you guys will definitely find out some more information on that once we get 7,500 subs on the channel. Dang. Dang. There you go. A little tease. A little Subscribe tease. to Lukeness. What's up, Rocket City Sith? How's it going? Hey, Rocket. But yeah, Tomas, I'm, I'm totally down for if we can get just like a regular Mud Trooper in the Black Series, too. I'd be, cool. be down for that because that Han came out a few years ago at this point. I'd be so down. What's oh, up, yeah. Miles? We need What's Frog up, Lady. Frog? <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd pick it up. It'd be a good figure because they are all they always do great with creatures. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Star Wars collector says Lucas face reveal in fan film. OMG confirmed. I I can't. I can't say anything. I'm, oh, I'm under no. contract. I'm, oh, I can't. no. <laughs> He's under contract. What you guys don't know is that Lukeness is actually in Andor. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, under contract. <laughs> that's going to be the face reveal. 
I am Andor, actually. <laughs> yeah. They uh, they just CGI'd the uh, actual <laughs> actor's face over your face. Mm-hmm. What's up, Mark? What's up, Mark? And what's up, Riley? How's it going? Also, thanks for 200 people watching. Yeah, nice. Hit Thank like. You. We're at 79 likes. Hit we that like We have 200 button. people in this stream. We should at least get to over 100 likes, please. Yes, Thank yes. You. So... I think we should probably jump into recent pickups, but before we do that, I want to have a little story time and it's a brief story, but I just want to show the casualties of a shelf dive and how horrible it could truly be. So a lot of people don't know this, but Justin does because you can't actually see the full scope of the set. And even what you see on figure it out, there's parts that are cut off. So, as you can see, there is a blank space right here where if you watch our videos regularly, you know the GameStop exclusive R5D4 rested right here. Uh-oh. But the other day, somehow, some way, above the set, I have this little Star Wars banner thing that my mom got for me. Is that wood or is it one of those like... It's like press board. Okay. So it's got like a press board, you know, frame and this little support piece. It came crashing down and smashed right into my R5 and literally peeled the bubble right off of the car. Oh, no. That's a clean card, though. Look at that. Yeah. Well, you know, just like yours, Justin, uh, and I, I'm curious to see uh, chat... If you have an R5, has your bubble separated from the actual card itself? Because it was already starting to separate just from over time, like the glue had dried out. But it got straight hit by the uh, by this thing. And I come down to the basement one day, and I just see it laying like this, like hanging from the peg. Hmm. But it's completely off. So... Unfortunately, I didn't want to do this, but I did open. Now, I, after all of these years, <laughs> my R5 has been opened because this figure was so hard to get back in the day, like literally yeah. going to GameStops every single day, calling them, uh, literally trying to win rock, paper, scissor matches yeah. to uh, yeah. try and get this figure. And so I never opened mine because I was like, this is a trophy. This was so hard to get. This was a trophy. Mm-hmm. But now it's open. And I'm kind of upset. I'm like, I didn't want to have this open. Because, of course, it is just an Astromex, so it's very small. A little too small for Black Series figures. But that yeah. is the tragic tale of stupid shelf dives. And that's all I got for you. Yeah, that happened to my R5 as well. It just, the glue dried out and mm-hmm. just yeah. crusted out. Hooter Mikulski said all the R5s are apt to be coming unglued. Yeah, it had already started, but of course, uh, when you have a large piece of artwork come crashing down onto it, this sped the process up. Mm-hmm. Luckily, nothing else was damaged, though. Luckily, nothing else, nothing else was damaged. Yeah, put it next to Tika. Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely, you know, this is going going right on the shelf, probably in the. Uh, yeah, I mean, oak. it's a it's a good background, you know, yeah. scene filler. Yeah, but it's just the tragedy of it all because it was just so hard to get this figure back in the day. This was literally one of the hardest Black Series figures to yeah, get. Yeah, there's like a classic vlog where we try and find it, and that's what you're referencing when it's we were like doing a rock, paper scissors. There's like a three part vlog series on our channel of us trying to find the figure yeah. we w- we spent three vlogs looking for it we never do that mm-hmm. never happens must have been that bad motivator yeah exactly so that unfortunately happened i was a little upset by it but ultimately it's not the end of the world but i just wanted to share that story because yeah it was, a, it was a little heartbreaking the tragedy of all oh, five all right the wise should we go to recent Mm-hmm. Who's going first? Who's going first? 
Well, you know me, I have a ton of stuff, like I do every week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Lucas, what do you got? What do you uh, got? I have a lot more this week than I normally do. Um, I actually just got back from vacation, and so I ordered probably more stuff than I should have, and I just got home, and it was all on my doorstep. Nice. So, uh, first up, I did, there was a local toy store near me that was running a huge sale, so I bought a few things from them. They had uh, Commander Cody for $15. It's going to be hard to get on camera here without knocking everything over. <laughs> but we got a Commander Cody for $15. Um, Ooh. I believe I'm going to do him as a giveaway. I'm not sure when. Nice. But... And then from them, I also got an Admiral Akbar and an Endor Leia for $5 each. Wow. I'd take that. So, yeah. I mean, that's a good deal. For, hey, for 5 bucks each, they were a great deal i can't really i'm gonna like drop them and it's gonna <laughs> they're all they're gonna knock everything over i guarantee it but it's gonna ruin the set I, nice. i'm not even gonna try i'm just gonna <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it it's not it worth really it. it really isn't nice. and then my my gamestop pre-order for sev finally shipped so we do have hey we do have sev nice. he's, just, he's gonna crouch there i hope he doesn't fall over either but <laughs> now nah, he's a solid figure He's going to fall, hit the camera, and you're going to do an accidental face reveal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. And a, 100%. In a, in a series of unfortunate events. And then uh, I believe it was Amazon had the Luke and Yoda 2-pack on sale for $30 maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw and that. I, I actually never owned this one yet because I thought it was overpriced. So I finally did pick that one up. Sick. Nice. Hey. What, do you, what do you think? What do you think about it's that two-pack? It's one of my new favorite figures of all time. It's, like, incredible. Yeah. It's really stupid how hard they went for that two-pack, especially Yoda. Yoda's so for good. Real. Yeah, that's in our top ten of all time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Video. he's he's up there for me now, too. One of my favorites. I think he's worth the $45 retail now. I didn't think it back then, but having yeah. it in hand, 100% worth it. Best yeah. Luke likeness? It, Best Yoda. It, it might be. It might be. And then we also did get uh, one figure from Target. Not a Black Series figure, but it is a Spartan Collection figure. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yo Yori, I think, is the... Yeah, yeah. Yori. Spartan um, Yori. I, I don't have a ton of uh, Spartan Collection figures. I have a few Master Chiefs, but I saw this one on the pegs, and I had to pick it up. just looks incredible. Yeah, that is a great piece. It, it's so, so crazy that for $20 that is the figure like alternate hands two weapons really nice paint details vac chrome visor oh, yeah. 20, 20 bucks insane yeah for real and then i do have one last pickup i was sitting in the airport and i just made my rex cancellation video and i realized that the walmart rex was still in stock so i did pick one up nice and i'll probably do this one as a giveaway too so we got a we got a bad batch Ooh. rex too hey we, nice. that, that's a good giveaway. Yeah, definitely. Especially now. <laughs> Especially after the yeah. the heartbreaking tragedy that happened this past week. Right. So do we um, know if it's actually canceled or not? Because I've seen several stores put it back up for pre-order, like Big Bad Toy Store. So. Yeah. Like back up as in in stock? No, as, like, it, like oh, for pre-order. Okay. You could pre-order it again. That That's what's really confusing to me because I did have one spoilers i did have one on pre-order because i was trying to get one to do a giveaway for captain rex and i got that email where it was like you, you know heads up the pre-order's been delayed it's gonna be coming next year now yeah and yeah it he did go back up for pre-order but also did resell out so that who knows what's really going on with these figures uh specter creative did drop a really interesting video about the subject today yeah. that kind of sheds some light on what may be happening with these figures. And it's a little bit, of, it's a little bit of hard truth and might be a little bit of a hard pill to swallow, but it's a good video. And I definitely would recommend everyone check it out because, you know, he worked at Mattel for 20 years and knows the ins and outs of the business. So I, I got to imagine his uh, theories on what's going on are, probably most likely the the closest thing to the truth we got yeah 
Let's see what Dorkside is saying. I don't think Dorkside has Rex up. I think, I honestly think Big Bad. Oh, yeah, canceled. It says canceled. I think Big Bad is the only website that didn't just flat out cancel it. Yeah. I think Old Republic Collectibles originally canceled it, and then they put it back up for pre-order again. Or not, mm -hmm. maybe they didn't put it back up for pre-order, but they, like, said anybody who got theirs canceled will, is, like, is back up. So, it's really weird. I don't know. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really hard to say what's going on, but... Le I mean, let's hope that Rex isn't canceled because I mean, I don't think any of these figures should have got canceled to begin with, mm -hmm. uh, especially right now, because people are in full blown panic mode. We're seeing really inflated prices for Hunter, Crosshair, uh, Cad Bane. Like they, these figures have shot through the roof this past week uh, just because people are panicking and, and it sucks because it's like we don't have the full information on what exactly is going on. Mm -hmm. yeah and it's more important it's like important to own that like it's it's a more mature and a smarter thing to say to like own your ignorance and just admit when you're ignorant of something instead of just like they're doing this so they can pedal out more credit collection they right. cancelled Rex because they're doing more credit collection like yeah. we have no idea why this stuff happens I yeah. don't know nobody knows Yep. No one knows. Literally, no one knows. But at least with like someone like Spectre Creative, who has some insight into how the toy industry works. Yeah. I, I'm like, usually inclined to to uh, watch his videos and think like, oh, OK, that's probably what's going on. Yeah. I don't think it's like a windowless packaging sort of thing because those Andor figures have a window. Yeah. So like. I. Yeah, I don't, and I, I don't think they would cancel it just to make the windowless package because you have to think they'd have to redesign the entire box. Like, you got to pay someone to do that. Like, it would be so much more cost effective just to probably re-release it in the old red and black box, which at the yeah. end of the day is what every company is going to try and do, the most cost effective thing. But I could see Rex coming back as an archive figure. I think that could also be a strong possibility. I really um, hope so. Yeah, he deserves. Yeah, because, I mean, honestly, you know, we talked about it a little bit. Like, maybe they're going to do Rex on the 2020 body, but I kind of think Rex is is in his best form in the body that we have. What's up, Yak? I think I could agree. What's up, Yak Face? You don't have oh, to issue yak. refunds if you push out the release date. Mm. But who charges up front aside from Nerdzoic, you know? Out of the big ones like Entertainment right. Earth, Big Bad, Dorkside, they don't charge until it ships. So they're not holding on to that money right. until it ships. So, but yeah. I, I, I don't know. But uh, and Amazon doesn't. Well, I don't even know if they got a restock pre-order or whatever. But I doubt it. Like most of the big fan channels don't charge up front. People pay with PayPal. Yeah, mm. that's true. Yeah. Um, that is true. Fair point. Fair point with the PayPal. That just goes to show you never pay with PayPal. <laughs> and I mean, I I am so not a fan of paying up front anyway. Right. Because, and I know everyone's different. Everyone has different preferences. But I'm not going to give you my money and then wait X amount of time and just hope. Because a pre-order can last a very long time. And with Rex... It's lasting forever now. It's just forever on pre-order. It went up June of 2021. What's up, Black Series Cantina? Zach? What's up, Zach? See you Saturday. We're meeting up. Oh, no. Dark side? No, they don't. No, they, they don't. They do not charge up front. Not if, unless you're using PayPal. Yeah, if you're using PayPal. If you're using a credit, debit, whatever, it, it they do not. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Dark side doesn't, so... The moral of the story is don't pay with PayPal. And don't, it, for me, don't pay up front for your pre-order because... Well, I mean, I pay up front for certain pre-orders when there's no other way to get it. Like uh, like something like, you know, Mythic Legions. Uh, if you order directly from them, you got to pay up front. But, you know, you know you're going to get your figure. It's not like GTP Toys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I just don't like, I wouldn't like 
giving them my money now and not knowing when it's coming. I want to give you the money when I'm going to get a product. That's how it works. So I'm, that's just why I'm not a fan of paying up front. And Dan, I've never bought Black Series from Target, Target's website, so I can't speak to that. Well, they do the phantom charge crap yeah. where they every week they'll charge your card the full price of the figure for like yeah. two days and then it just drops off. It's so stupid. It's mm-hmm. really annoying. Uh, oh, yeah. There is a figure we forgot to mention that was getting that also was part of the cancellation list. And Dank Chez brings it up. But of course, that's the Mandalorian Stormtrooper as well is allegedly on the cancellation docket as well. Uh, mm-hmm. I believe Nerd Zoic said that um, the Mando Stormtrooper was canceled, but it makes sense because it's about to come out in the Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary line. So there's going to be more opportunities to grab the classic white Stormtrooper. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Yakface says, as soon as they issued the Bad Batch version, the original ish, the original reissue Rex was dead on arrival. Yeah, and someone else, I think Riley was asking, yeah, is the Bad Batch Rex worth getting? And the answer is no. Well, I, I if, don't like it. Okay, if you can't, if you don't have the original Rex, yes, but it's inaccurate. It's poor quality plastic. The paint apps are significantly worse. Like number 59 red and black box Mm -hmm. Rex is the definitive captain Rex. It was released at a time where Hasbro was still doing proper paint apps, the like Mm -hmm. subtle Sandy grime significantly better. And there's Mm -hmm. like something weird about the plastic on the, on the bad batch captain Rex. It's just like like the sand trooper. Yeah. It feels like cake frosting and it looks like cake frosting. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's really strange. And what's up, DA Mac and also Sean Dixon? No news. Radio silent. Absolutely. That, not. That's over. Yeah. Get, contact your bank. That whole thing is over. It's done. Zach does bring up a great point, though, that you can just get the George Lucas Trooper, pop that helmet on, and you're all good. You're all good. But yeah, I mean, of course, it, it still does suck. There's no denying that it sucks that that any of these figures got canceled because like we say in this week's episode of figured out there's new collectors every single day. So Mm -hmm. canceling these super desirable, highly sought after figures is just a massive blow. And uh, the, you know, I doubt they're going to come out and say anything about it, but the silence does also not make anything better. Definitely doesn't make anything Mm -hmm. better. But anyways, back to recent pickups, right? (laughs) Oh, yeah. I knew this was going to get brought up, but, yeah. like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I At the end of the day, I just recommend checking out the Spectre Creative video. At the end of the day, it probably just wasn't worth it, even though it seems like they're going to sell millions and millions and millions of Captain Rex, but at the end of the day, it probably just wasn't worth it to, mm-hmm. to produce. Right. Um, th- there's a reason for it. I don't know. It's not... They didn't just wake up and be like... How am I going to screw over X collector? Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, like yeah. Justin, you want to you want to hit up some recent pickups? Could, yeah. could I uh, interrupt for just a second? I know oh, Yakface is in the chat. Sure. Could I ask Yakface? Do you think that there's a possibility that we could get an archive Rex, considering that the other one got canceled? If you're still in the chat, just wanted to throw it out there. Yeah, I would hope so because send us some cryptic emojis, Jason. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, exactly. I hope so just because I will die on that hill that it's so much better than the Bad Batch Rex. Mm-hmm. I just can't take the unpainted gray pauldron that's also inaccurate. It's also not uh, a full pauldron. The binos, either. it's just inaccurate. The... Yeah, it's poop troop. It's one Kate? of those digital printing weathered thing, right? Like, where you see it. the you see the dots all around every little like little bit of uh, dirt detail. And again, the cake frosting. He looks like cake frosting. Yeah. Why don't they just tell us the reason? Because I mean, what corporation is that transparent? And not right. to mention like with Disney and everything and Lucasfilm, it's like you can't just. It's kind of like the Attack of the Clones 20th anniversary. They're not going to just say, oh, Lucasfilm wouldn't let us do these 20th, because that makes Lucasfilm look bad, or whatever the situation is. Like, no corporation is like that. No corporation mm-hmm. is that transparent, because they 
it makes them look bad or whatever. Um, yep. I don't know. Also, yeah. hey, mom. What's up? And Yakface says, a higher possibility than re- reissue in that old box. I agree. Definitely okay. agree. I de- yeah, I'm sure if they do another archive vote, Rex is probably going to... Rex is going to win, and then we're going to be stuck here waiting for Slave Leia again. Yeah, yeah 100%. <laughs> Who are you growling? It's going to be Commander Cody 2.0. Oh, look who's making an appearance. We got Kiwi Girl. She, she wants to come in. Ugh. It's Kiwi time. Oh, it's Kiwi time. <laughs> She's got a nice mustache right now. Yeah, I got to get her groomed. <laughs> look at all that scruffy. That door is scruffing. All right, you lay down and look cute. And thank you, Hunter, for the two bucks. Not going to lie, I really like my Bad Batch Rex helmet on. Number 59. I always keep the helmet on. Yeah. Helmet stays on. Lonnie, I believe you can also get Nolan Shield on shopdisney.com. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Nolan Shield, look, look, look who's back there. Whoa! That looks like a, that looks like a, some Cantina band members. Hang on. Ooh. I gotta grab them all. <laughs> just gotta grab them all. Kiwi's just sitting there. She's chilling. Uh oh. You have to wait for 2028 to get Rex for the 20th of Clone Wars. Jeez. Yeah, that's what they'll do. Target exclusive still. It'll be Target exclusive. <laughs> like, hey guys, I know you've been collecting Black Series figures for 25 years, but <laughs> yeah. So, uh, recent pickups for me. I did get Nail and Shield from Hasbro Pulse. Finally showed up because when Hasbro Pulse say it, when they say shipped, what they really mean is, well, we printed the label. Oh my god, dude! I can't stand Hasbro Pulse, dude. I will say That's... it. They suck. They suck. It is ridiculous, though, because I can't tell you how long, like literally all last week, my Nolan Shield, every day I checked the, the shipping label created. Okay, yeah. put it on the box and ship that thing, man. All, Come on. What they mean by shipped is that they printed the label. I'm like, you, and then they let it sit for a week. Well, we printed the label. Yeah. Do better. We'll get but to I it. But I finally got we'll Nolan Shield. It. So I'm putting the nail and chill figure so I don't get it mixed up with Figrin, even though it's the same figure. I don't know. OCD, whatever. Um, he's going to be the one sitting. I, look how cool this is. That's this so is, dope. This is epic. A percussion. This isn't the Omnibox, right? That's the other one. Or is <laughs> this the Omnibox? Uh, chat. Chat. <laughs> uh. So I love how it's all one mold. The chair connected to the base, which also has the drum on it. Alternate hands. Nail and Shield comes with four sets of hands with a Black Series figure. Oh my goodness. Nail and Shield is an amazing release. Top 10 of 2022, either Nailin or Figurin. We'll probably cheat on the top 10 and just put Figurin slash Nailin. You're damn right. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> four different sets of hands. There's like a hand to hold the accordion looking thing Mm -hmm. there's hands for the percussion instrument there is hands to look at this to hold the drumsticks that's cool with this percussion instrument Mm -hmm. sick Um, i'm so excited it it's seriously now that i have because i still need one figure and dan stand up there you go. <laughs> so then, just to show them off real quick, I got this guy. That's a figurine. Nice. Yep, because I got, I got you my spare figurine. And hold on, I want to pause for a second, because B-Man, you're right on the money. <laughs> the old Burger King watch. Tag. Oh, yeah, that, that was <laughs> mine that I brought over. Whenever we find, like, old Star Wars knickknacks from our childhood, we incorporate it into the set. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the old watch tin from uh, Burger King. Good eye. That That is an eagle eye right there. Yeah. And you were, like, small on the screen. Yeah. Too. 
Uh, so we got that one. This is like the main front man because that's what this is like the main look of him. The Power of the Force one has him with this instrument. And then the last and final. So I still need one more figure and Dan to play the accordion looking instrument. Nice. And I'll say it. If the Black Series ended tomorrow, I'd be fine. <laughs> Whoa, be this guy's so crazy. Oh. Now, what I mean by that, I don't mean like I'd be fine if it ended tomorrow because I hate it. Like, no, I'm saying at the very least, we went out with getting the modal nodes. We've been collecting. We've been waiting for this release for All almost right. 10 years. Like, All right. This is one of the coolest things to come out of the Black Series. I'll say it. I'll say it. So it that's cool. what I mean by, like, if it ended tomorrow, I'm like, at least we ended on such a high note mm -hmm. with the modal nodes. Also, I agree, Star Wars Collector. 211 people in the chat. Thank you. Hit like. Subscribe if you are new. Check out the channel membership. Check out the channel membership. Yeah, we do occasional giveaways. Yep. Let's get a link for that. Tom, go. I used to have that Sphero BB-8. Yeah, it was so fun. I, it I was took fun. a shot. I took a shot. I'll. I wanted to show this on stream. Just like, it's so cool. I can't believe how cool this is. Oh, that's that, awesome. That just looks like, so satisfying. I need. I need one more figuring, but like, I just can't believe this came out in the line. I'm so hyped. Yep. Um. No, I. That's not what I meant. That's not. <laughs> of course, I want the line to continue for years mm -hmm. and years and years, and I want to get more cool stuff. Uh, but this is like the next best thing to like the Max Rebo band. Like yes. if we got the Max Rebo band, I'd be like, Shh, I'd, I could die peacefully. Yo, what's up, Sean? What's up, Sean? Hey, Sean. The most iconic glove mm -hmm. shit out. I agree. <laughs> Josh, uh, Lucas is here. I am here, yes. I'm just very <laughs> quiet. He had his turn. He had his turn. And yeah, then... it's, it's show and tell, guys. It's show yeah. and tell. Come on. It wouldn't be a lazy live, lazy Sunday live stream without a la 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 la. <laughs> uh oh, this guy went crazy. I so <laughs> this guy went insane. This is another reason, and I'm gonna drop the link again. This is another golden reason why you need to join the discord because in that discord we have in stock alerts for all sorts of things whatever it is and someone sent the link and they had such a limited amount it was sold out in a very short amount of time but i managed to snag one it was a charge the credit card and worry about it later purchase <laughs> and that is the oh Ooh. lego Look at all those minifigures! ATTE, one of my favorite Star Wars vehicles. I knew I had to pick this up. And uh, so, I'm not into like the Lego community, but apparently there's a lot of drama with with the uh, Commander Cody here. Like apparently the Commander Cody is like one of the most sought after like Lego please we need a Cody we need a Cody like it's the biggest drama thing ever. I'm just like shit's easy. I just got into Lego. I already got a Commander <laughs> Cody. Shit's phase easy. Two, phase 2 Cody's like fives for me. Yeah. Shit's easy. What are you guys just, talking about? It's easy. I just, just got buy, it. Just buy the $300 ATTE. No, it's 130. Oh, okay. It's not that big. It's not like a UCS set. And then, since I'm a, like, a, I have an account with them, like, the VIP thing, they gave me this, too. It's like a tropical, like, pirate something. Yay. The classic Lego shark is in there. Some, some Lego skeletons. Those are always the best. Yeah. So that must have been, like, a little thing they throw in there if you buy something mm. i don't know b-man says they never made phase two cody that's the first oh shit's easy Ooh. shit's, shit's easy. easy shit's easy <laughs> uh but, fellow uh, fellow european people can anyone help mango out getting nolan shield are you in the uk 
Yeah, because I think it's Hasbro Pulse UK. Because Pulse has, or uh, UK has Pulse, but for everyone else, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jonah just got the Lego BD1. Nice. Yeah. Also, not Obi Wan. Totally true. Totally true. Oh, Lego dude, sets I, are so easy to find. I have seen videos where people complain that the Lego minifigure clone trooper will have like four lines on the breathing apparatus instead of five or whatever. And I'm just like, <laughs> ah, like just get a figure. Like if you're that much of a stickler for accuracy, why would you be collecting Lego? Get into yeah. TVC or black series or something else. Get a figure. If you want a super detailed, accurate representation. No, no. But yeah. I do want to get BD one, but not my priority at this moment nice anything else pickup wise i was trying to think now nail and shield that's just like a big one that's a huge one let me check my list here for black series because now that i got nail and shield i did film my black series update so i hope to edit that today nice um but yeah that just the nail and shield and the Lego ATTE for Sick. me. Sick. So is it Nate's turn? Yeah, so I've got a, quite a few things. I'll start out with some TVC stuff. I did get the Death Trooper Hasbro nice. Pulse uh, Army Builder 4-pack. Needed this for the for the Navarro Cantina display, so crucial. Oh, yeah, true. Crucial. For I the wish Navarro they would do those for yeah. Black Series. That'd be right. Yes, for real. Um, and I did pick up a few more extra TVC figures from the dork side sale. Um, just to fill out some space, I got two Tuscan Raiders. Hey. Which, these were originally Walmart exclusive. Um, so thankfully they went fan channel and they went on sale on dork side. And I did also get another uh, Death Star droid as well. Nice. Just because they were so cheap. I love a cheap army builder. Um, yeah, I did. all in now. No turning back. Yep, I did. Also get... Oh! Got my nice. non Nice. Showed up yesterday. Haven't got a chance to crack this bad boy open, but epic. Nolan Shield is epic. Number five in the line. Pretty sweet. Nice. I did, al I did also get my Sev. Sev. Sev is great. I love that red. Yep. Mm -hmm. Very, very accurate to the Clone Wars version of the character. Like, mm -hmm. the the paint app details are spot on. Yeah. Even, even though in the game it's a hand, right? Yeah, it's like a hand print. More. But in the Clone Wars, it's more of like a squiggly... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if you want a uh, Clone Wars accurate Sev, pretty good. I, I uh, actually really do like this figure a lot. I, I can fully admit I was a little hard on Boss in my original review. Um, and then I did get some non-Star Wars stuff, as always. As always. Uh, this was also from the Dorkside sale. And I've just been really enjoying these little three and three quarter inch Alien vs. Predator, Predator figures. Like, these are super nice. dope. Really nicely detailed. This is the Elder Predator from Alien vs. Predator. It's got a nice little soft goods cape. Which nice Fatmatic. We love Thanks soft for goods. Ooh, TBC Heavy Stormtrooper. I definitely want to get the Heavy Stormtrooper. Definitely want to get that. One that. Looks, that one looks really cool. I really want that in Black Series. Yes, 100% in Black Series. Uh, I got a couple NECA goodies. I got a couple Ooh. NECA goodies. I did get the San Diego Comic Con exclusive, The Thing. Oh, is this with the the cover yeah. art? <laughs> That's cool. I love that. Yeah, it's a it lights up, and uh, it's pretty cool figure. I definitely wanted to get this because I was like, this is just so interesting. I love The Thing. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. You could see the the box was ripped, which is a little kind of chaps my ass a little bit because this thing was so expensive but yeah. you can see some pictures of it illuminated it does actually light up which is very cool 
That's Nate, cool. The um, AVP stuff was NECA, right? Uh, no, the AVP stuff is a company called Haya Toys. H I Y. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, because this my is bad, three, and, three and three quarter inch. But look at that. That's a three and three quarter inch figure. Yeah. They come. They come with alt hands. Uh, Dorkside has them on sale for like twelve bucks a piece. They're normally twenty. These are twenty dollar. Dang. Uh, because they're so they're high. They're super highly detailed. They come with a ton of accessories. Like, I would say Haya Toys for twenty bucks is worth it, just because they do actually include a decent amount of stuff. Um, and then, like I said, I was at Target yesterday, and I finally, finally found good old Bronx nice. from Gargoyles. Boom. Yeah. Zavi, by the way, absolutely. 100%. Yep. It's the Jungle only Hunter NECA Predator, Predator I have. It? It's Jungle so Hunter's good. amazing. The sculpts, the accessories. Love NECA. Yep. So finally got Bronx in store, which thankfully much cheaper in store than it is online. So it also comes with uh, Goliath's wings, which is very important. The closed wings. NECA nice. really sc screwed the pooch on that one. Calling, Ooh. calling, uh, you know, an ultimate figure, ultimate Goliath, but he doesn't come with closed wings. You have to buy Bronx to get the closed wings. Yeah. I would Me? recommend Prey. Yeah. I, I would I recommend Prey. I still haven't seen it. I need to watch it. It's a lot of fun. Thanks, uh, boy. Fi final pickup this week is a McFarlane big boy. Again, from a dork side sale, we got this Warhammer orc. He's huge. He's beefy. He looks cool. What nice. else is there to say about it? Great looking fig. Yeah. So those are my recent pickups. And Hunter, I have actually not received it yet. I have not received it. Yeah. Although we haven't checked the P.O. box. Yeah, if it's if it's in the PO box, it might it might be there. I can't remember. I think I yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember. But anyways, uh yeah, Prey was good. I would recommend Prey. I thought Prey was awesome. And you know, so I have been watching a lot of Landspeeder Luke videos lately, really getting mm -hmm. inspired, especially with the customizing and the painting videos. Mm -hmm. So I was I was feeling it one day and I did do a little customizing oh. on my phase two uh, Bandai model kit here. You could see it's kind of hard to tell because it's a very, very light weathering. But I didn't want to go too hard. Yeah, I like but the subtle. Subtle, sandy weathering. Oh, and I also sprayed uh, this figure with the matte coat. So it's like a nice matte. Come on. I know it had the focus. Yeah, it just did. Oh, well. Well, anyways. Nicely. Oh, there it goes. Maybe. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Little dirt detail. I just I like thought that. I, you know, I was in the mood. I was in the mood. His videos are getting me hyped about painting and customizing again. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to watch some videos and paint a figgy so i painted this model kit sprayed it with a little matte coat and now he's a nice slightly weathered you know he's not a shiny anymore he's seen a little bit of combat he's seen a little combat seen a little combat but yeah that's uh that's what i got for you nice good little recent pickups all around mm-hmm mm-hmm so right. I I will say real quick, I don't want to interrupt, but I just checked Hasbro Pulse and all four of the Kenobi figures that are on my screen are in stock on Hasbro Pulse right now. Ooh. So if anybody needs them. I'm still waiting for still don't have Obi. Do not have Wandering. Yeah, Jedi. I don't I don't have Obi. Although he is getting repacked in wave thirty five? Honestly, be, at this point, I've lost track of the numbers. Yeah, <laughs> he'll be he'll be easy to find. He'll After thirty three, I sure. just lost track. Mm hmm. Yeah. The uh, so Vader, Riva, Fifth Brother, and Obi in stock on Pulse. Mm hmm. Always nice. a good time. I I picked up the Vader. I I like it. Just having an additional Vader on the shelf. Um, just to fill out those scenes. 
It is pretty you never, sweet. You never know when you're going to need an extra Vader. It is pretty sweet. But uh, Lukeness, our guest of honor, we ha- I have some questions for you. Okay. I, I, I keep forgetting to do this when we have guests, like our guest questions. I oh, always right. forget, so I'm like... All right, uh, question one. Favorite figure in the line? The entire line. Ooh, that's tough. You guys know me. I think I'm going to have to go with Arc Trooper Echo. Ooh. And I think he only holds the number one spot until Fives comes in. And we get a Fives. <laughs> but uh, I, I just... Coming. I love the Arc Troopers, and uh, Echo is the closest thing we got to Fives. So I'm, I think I'm going to give it to... Either, honestly, I think it's tied between Echo and... I want to say, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna give like the tie to the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett because that figure is also just amazing. Nice. Yeah. Such a great deluxe release, that Boba. Oh yeah. I also I forgot about this. Oh. <laughs> the the uh, new piece of artwork, nice. Boba Fett punching Darth Vader. Did That's you gonna take go down the uh, Max Rebo poster. No, it's just sitting behind it. Oh okay. I just had I just put that up there just right before the stream real quick so it's just sitting over the poster. So yeah. Sorry to interrupt again, but did you guys notice that on the Return of the Jedi card for Boba Fett that he was missing the knee pads on the the card back? Mm, maybe that's mm-hmm. why it looks weird. Yeah. Well, is, and it's Is that accurate to the Kenner? I don't I think... think so. I think the Kenner had the knee pads. Uh-oh. We're about to do some investigating. Breaking news. Let's take a gander. Oh, I don't think uh, so. Uh oh. that. Did it not? Yeah, because oh. it's a, for Kenner, it's a painted render. Because they had to, like, you can see, like, the original shot cuts off. Right. So they had to, like, paint, someone had to paint the legs. Yeah. Some poor intern. That is. At, at Kenner. <laughs> They're that like, you need to make why, these legs. That probably is why it looks off, like the Black Series one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because those legs are just weird. But it is accurate because they are going off the Kenner art. Okay, I'll, I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. But it is weird <laughs> that it doesn't have the yeah, that is the weird. armor. All right. Top tier analysis by OOTV here. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Roman... That was found at Ollie's. Good old Ollie's. You never know what the hell you're going to find there. Exactly. <laughs> that um, should be their slogan. You don't know what the hell is inside. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, Lukeness. Aside from Fives, number one most wanted figure in the Black Series. Oh, that's tough. You can't put me on the spot like that. No fives. <laughs> no fives. My go-to ar- my go-to answer is always fives. I haven't come up with a second one. <laughs> um, fives oh, is too obvious. It is too obvious. I mean, I feel like that's my, always my go-to answer. Um, man, that is tough. I know my go-to I, answer. I think... Honestly, I think I'm going to give it to a Jabba the Hutt, like, new mold for him. I just I have a absence of Jabba's palace figures, and I think Jabba the Hutt would just be a great um, like centerpiece to actually start a, a display for that. And so I, I'd love a new Jabba mold. Yeah. Do you have the original Jabba or no? I don't know. Yeah, because the the original Jabba has this like stupid like McDonald's kids meal. Yeah. like play feature when you touch his hand or arm his mouth opens it, it's literally like buzz light your karate chop action i'm like right i i do not like that like i get it you know it's like kind of funny like haha you know you can make you can make him open and close his mouth it's like the movie but they also ended up making him out of that like weird like rubbery material yeah. instead mm-hmm. Which, I mean, hasn't deteriorated or anything, but I would have to imagine is a little bit more fragile than, you know, just hard plastic. But I think I think if they did, like, a kind of like a deluxe Jabba set where it comes with, like, all the San Diego Comic-Con accessories with, like, the like the, the frog bowl and then the uh, salacious crumb, 
And then you also it maybe include like a Slave Leia figure too, like maybe charge $75, $80 for that set. That would be an amazing set. I I do think it's it's going to be tough to see if we get another Slave Leia though. Yeah. Yeah, if it... I feel like the only way is Archive. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if they'll dedicate a new sculpt, which would be the best case scenario. Yeah. Right. Because she's not good. <laughs> yeah, she's a terrible she, figure. She's not good. <laughs> Maybe we'll get it for the, the 40th anniversary, but I highly doubt it. Yeah, because we did get a Wave 3 for Empire Strikes Back, so I really hope we do get a Wave 3 for Return of the Jedi. I imagine so. Because, like, we need a Luke in that line. Mm -hmm. And a um, Vader, too. Oh, yeah, maybe they can do the chain. Maybe do a better helmet sculpt with the head. That'd be nice. That'd be Put cool. Put the photo reel on the... Uh, on the Vader head. Yeah. That would be All sick. Right. So, uh, Luke Ness... Okay. I have another one here. If Luke Ness Monster was in charge of HasLab... Uh-oh. Ooh, I... What HasLab would Luke Ness Monster be doing for Black Series? If we get another chance. 100% an ATST. It is the perfect size for, like, that... 300 350 price point mm -hmm. and you could just you could give it like the 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 atst pilot which would be a brand new uh new figure that we haven't gotten in line and then you could always do like the different um i guess like tiers you can maybe throw in like some endor bunker stuff for like a tier or anything like that i think it'd be i think it'd be really good and then you know I'll, I'll, obviously you can throw in like chewbacca whenever he rides it in the atst too but I'm actually going to be starting a new series on the channel where I 3D print a six-inch scale ATST. So I'm really excited about that. Whoa! Six-inch nice. You guys heard it here first. Hey, ATST that's awesome. Fives. Yeah. Yes, obviously fives would be the deluxe, like the the max tier where it gets like twenty-eight thousand backers, and yeah. they just throw in fives. Right. <laughs> just like, they're just like, here you go, fives. Yeah, I agree with you though. I think ATST because a lot of people say like, well, the three and three quarter inch one can't stand up, but this would be Haslab dream project ultimate, like ratchet joints. Yeah, like mm -hmm. exquisite engineering, like yeah, kind of like how the Rancor the figure was, how it had ratchet joints. You know, they learned from the Sentinel not having ratchet joints on those knees. Mm -hmm. Um, an ATST. Six inch scale, I believe it would be shorter than Galactus. So, like, I mm -hmm. don't think so it's an unrealistic size. I mean, you have to fit two or more six inch figures in the the cockpit area. Mm -hmm. So it would be huge, but I feel like it's doable. I think it's about two feet tall for a uh, for it to be six inch scale. So yeah, I it's did not the, terribly tall. Yeah, I did the. Uh, the measurements one time i forgot what it was but i think it's shorter than galactus yeah it would be shorter mm -hmm. than galactus which automatically means it's doable because galactus is absurd mm -hmm. yeah like, and it's like tall instead of wide i don't know because yeah. that's why they can't do an x-wing apparently it's too Cause big because the, the wingspan i think they said the wingspan would be like it was either four or five feet around mm -hmm. that area yeah Honestly, I'm I'm just upset I hated on the Rancor so much because I would love to have a Rancor right now. <laughs> In hindsight, yeah, the Rancor was what we needed. Hindsight Thanks. is 2020, you know. It's okay, dude. It's I all right. I still get a, the Rancor blues every once in a while. I'm just like I mm -hmm. get the what could have been syndrome, and I'm just like, damn, we could have had a 112th Rancor. But uh, I see some people in the chat are saying Jedi Starfighter. And I don't, I, not... I don't know if that would have to be a Haslab though. I mean, it's a big ship, but I don't think it's, it's, big enough to warrant a Haslab. But what if it's like super ultra exquisite details and like yeah. metallic? Um, I don't know. I I feel like they could as, make it worth it. As long as it's not like overpriced, I'm fine. I don't really care what they do for a Haslab, but. Because the thing about like regular vehicles is everyone just goes, I'll just wait for a sale. I'll just wait for clearance. Mm -hmm. So that's that's know. what I think they should do with 
just more of their vehicles, kind of like what they did with the uh, the Vintage Collection Jabba's Palace set. When rather just like mass releasing the vehicles, they should kind of do like the specific Hasbro pulls like order, and then they make the number. So then everybody that wants the vehicles can still get them, and they don't peg warm and you know go down in price and everything. Because I think that's the main reason why Hasbro stopped doing vehicles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is. I'm pretty sure Eric from the design team said it's just like the sales are not hitting the targets that were necessary to keep it going. Um, And that is because people don't pick them up, which fine, pass whatever you want. It's just a hobby. But that's how the market is dictated. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. I I think they need to give us prequel fans a chance, though. I think... 100%. Yeah, Hunter, (laughs) I agree. I think... And I say this every week on the stream, like, we're grown, we got big boy money, we got irresponsible choices to make. (laughs) I... Give me some clones. I I think the prequel generation, we would pony up the cash, along with every other person that just enjoys the prequels. Um, I think we can pony up the cash to do, like, an ATRT Mm -hmm. standard regular vehicle release that comes with, like the like all these wookies are dead clone trooper from uh, kashik in revenge of the sith atrt standard release not a Haslab, because it's just a small little chicken walker yeah i think realistically that would be between like 50 and 75 dollars because it's not a huge vehicle mm-hmm. I, I think i kind of like compare that in size to like the endor speeder bike mm-hmm. so yeah. I Speaking think... of which, would you guys want to see a re-release of like the Endor speeder bike for the 40th? Oh, for sure. Just yeah. to get it back out. Yeah, mm-hmm. it needs to be back out. Yeah, because realist. Well, I mean, even the Mando one, people didn't really have a great chance to get that. That sold out pretty quick. That one sold out really fast. Yeah, yeah that was Amazon ex- exclusive, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, it'd be cool to get a Buzz Droid on that Starfighter. Just the classic yellow Anakin, newly sculpted Anakin. That'd be so cool. Caleb W. with the 499 Super Chat. Thank you for the channel support, Caleb. Uh, Do you guys think we'll ever see Shadows of the Empire figures in the Game and Greats line? Love that game as a kid. I think think we can see someone. Kyle Um, Katarn, maybe. I think he'd probably be the only one, though. Yeah, Dash Rendar would make would probably be doable. Um, they could also re-release, you know, like uh, Boosh Leia is pretty big in Shadows of the Empire. Oh yeah, they could do some like uh, I would love it if they did uh, Chewbacca and Bounty Hunter disguise. That'd be crazy. Oh yeah, but uh, thank you, Caleb, for the channel support. Appreciate yeah, appreciate it. you. And on that note, I'll be right back. Oh, BRB. Snap. Yeah, I I just think, like, they can stick to, like, the smaller vehicles, mm-hmm. kind of like the speeder bike, which is why I think, like, like same thing with a Bark speeder, like, if they did... 100%. 20th anniversary of Revenge of the Sith, Bark speeder with Commander Neo. That'd be awesome. That's That would just be a perfect release, coincided with the ATRT with an ARF trooper. Mm-hmm. Do both of those different times of the year, two regular vehicle releases. That would be 2025. I, I want it sooner than that. Just do it. I don't even think yeah. it needs to be the 20th anniversary. I think those would sell. I think one thing that I'm like missing most in my life right now is with the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm that kept doing the throwback packages. And because yeah. I, I just feel like, why don't they continue doing that even if it's not under that 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm like logo? Because I'm sure they sold great. I, I don't see why they would just continue doing those throwback packages. Yeah, I mean, I, they continued it with the comic book line, too, so... Yeah, like, I would love to get the nostalgic, like, the Revenge of the Sith bubble packages. That'd be amazing. Like, let's take a look. For anyone who doesn't know. So, uh, Star Wars Collector, he says, what happened to the gaming channel? It's coming very, very soon. That's all I can say. Again, Bro. I'm under contract. Yeah, dude, like, give us these. Give us, like, yeah, Commander. Be... Like, imagine, like, Commander Bakara. Mm-hmm. All day. That'd all be day, awesome. every day. 
th- like Revenge of the Sith is endless possibilities. One thing that I think would be super cool is I know like Hasbro kind of made up clone troopers for that Revenge of Sith packaging because they kind of took like the Bly body and they did like a red version and a green version. I'd love to see like a black series uh, kind of like adaptation of that where they kind of just repaint the Bly body the different colors. Yeah. Because I remember having those as kids is like just like the different colors of Bly thinking they were the coolest thing ever. Mm hmm. Yeah, I would like. I really hope they end up doing something for Revenge of the Sith, if that's what it takes. Like, if we have to wait for an anniversary for whatever reason. I mean, I love that we're getting Keavi and Ayla. Yeah. It's a good sign. But those are, I think those are technically Attack of the Clones figures. They are. Yep. Like, are we ever going to get a Revenge of the Sith figure in the galaxy packaging? I hope so. Like... Oh yeah, yeah. A staff would be cool as well. That would Just be like awesome. A little thing for the droid to ride on, get a translucent mm-hmm. stand for it. Yeah, that would definitely be cool. I'm also upset we didn't get anything for like a super battle droid for the 20th anniversary. Yeah, I have to think it's like Lucasfilm or Disney or whoever, because that would the 20th anniversary stuff such a big missed opportunity. Mm-hmm doesn't even have to be labeled 20th anniversary i just want i just want a super battle well toy. yeah exactly because have you seen my the 3d print i got from land speeder luke i've seen his i don't think i've seen yours though yeah, is it I'll, the same thing let me grab it we need it's so cool we need this figure and it's like it's not even that big honestly like just that's awesome Oops. Is is it like fully articulated or is it just like four? PA? No, it's there's like like this can move a little bit, but it's pretty stagnant. Still is awesome, yeah. And it's not even like that big. Like they can yeah, do this. That doesn't even have to be a deluxe figure. That could be a standard figure. Okay, now you're dreaming a little bit. Now you're dreaming a little bit. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. I feel like they would do still do this as deluxe. Oh, 100%. No question they would. But And the real thing might be a little bit bigger than the 3D print. I don't know how accurate it is. Land speeder? Is that accurate? Oh, all my figure and dance fell. Luke? Is that accurate? Land speeder? Let's see here. I'd love the glider. I awesome. hope we do get the glider. That's like if they do an ATSD, they could include the glider as a tier or something. That'd be really cool, yeah. With like an Ewok. Yeah, Darth Clueless. They did with Phantom Menace. It was only two figures, though. It was Padawan, Obi Wan, and Darth Maul in 2019. And then they also did the uh, the like 50th anniversary Lucasfilm. Yeah. Phantom Menace set uh, was a Best Buy exclusive, maybe. Yeah, it was Qui Gon, Battle Droid, Mace Windu, Jar Jar. Yeah, Mace Windu and Jar Jar. Yep. The Jar Jar with less accessories. For the same price. <laughs> yeah. I think the Battle Droid and maybe Mace Windu were the only two I picked up from that. I was really hoping to find Qui Gon, and I just never found him. Slap an orange stripe on that snow speeder and charge two hundred. Yeah, because that was one twenty when it came out. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't think it'd be two hundred. I think they could probably get away with one fifty. But I, on the other hand, it kind of one of those things where the vehicles they they wait till it goes on clearance, and so yeah, at that point, if it's one fifty, I feel like people wouldn't buy it anyway. Yeah, the snow speeder apparently didn't sell well either. It was always mm-hmm. going on clearance. I remember GameStop had a sale where it was it was like eighteen dollars on sale. I don't $18? know how. Eighteen dollars. Yeah, I don't even know how it happened, but. Uh, it was like an in-store exclusive though, because you could if if they had it in store, if you found it, it was eighteen dollars, and my GameStop Jeez. didn't have it, unfortunately. Yeah, that's insane. Let's see here, more clone officers. Yeah, we need more commanders. They should start doing a a bit more named clones. Agreed. They kind of switched from the commanders to the grunts, and they haven't really thrown as many commanders in with it. Yeah, I guess the. I mean. It kind of makes sense, I guess, I guess, because more people are inclined to pick up more than one mm-hmm. grunt. But yeah, we 
definitely need we at least need Bakara and Neo just to finish out like the Revenge of the Sith commanders. Yep. That'd be it'd be super cool to put Bakara next to the new Kiati Mundi too. Yeah. I mean I guess why they're at it makes some Galactic Marines too, but Oh, there's Luke. He doesn't know. He's shrugging his shoulders. Rogue two snowspeeder. I don't think they will repaint the snowspeeder. Oh yeah, I doubt it. And yes, the the snowspeeder is very, very good. Mm -hmm. What if Hasbro never made a fives and just kept riding out the hype that he was eventually coming? So you're I would upset. never set I would never be complete. We definitely need they should have, they should honestly do because Jesse is coming. Confirmed. Yep. They keep they, pushing him back. I don't understand why. He was originally wave 33, which is the Kenobi wave. And now he's pushed back to wave 37, I want to say. Yeah, the Hasbro team did say in a Q&A that they were essentially, like, forced. I don't. They didn't use the word forced, but they had to pump out the figures for Kenobi. I mean, that's fair, though. Because originally, Jesse... Where is he? Oh, no. I miss him? Jesse's gone. He's right there. 36. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right there. Because originally he was rumored to be very earlier on, but they said in one of their Q&As that they had to make room for all of these Kenobi figures. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what is going to happen with Andor as well. Yeah, because I, I think I remember one of the more recent waves, there was like four Andor figures in the wave, and they kind of just like came out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, right here. And I think that goes with what I always say about, like, that's the thing with having the Star Wars license, or any license in general, is that you can't just do whatever you want. You have to answer to your licensor, and they tell you what you can and can't do. So that's obviously why we have, like, 30-plus Mando figures in the mural. We have so many Kenobi figures for a show that yep. just came out. 14 figures, I think. I mean, it still took him like, two years to get the Mando Season 1 figures out, though. Except for that 194 Mandalorian. Yeah, true, but there's... At this point, there's just so many there's like, Mando There's, like, figures. 35 Mando figures now. It's crazy. And, like, even with Kenobi, like, there's 13 Kenobi figures... Mm -hmm. Andor's gonna get a bunch of figures. I gotta think that's just like Lucasfilm or Disney being like, you guys need to focus on what we have coming out, our relevant yeah. new stuff. Like, that's probably a big reason why we didn't see 20th Attack of the Clones stuff. And honestly, I'm not I'm not too upset about that. I, I love with, like, if a movie or a TV show's out, just being able to go to the store and find the figures, you know? I don't want to have to wait a year or two years just for a, for a Mandalorian Boba Fett, you know? Yeah, that's another thing is people complain when there's not figures out when the show is out. Right. So it's like you, you're you getting what you asked for. It's true. But in, in on the on the double-edged sword, that means we don't get fan favorite characters. Yeah, they're, they're a little more sprinkled throughout. Yeah. But like we always say, though, you know, obviously we would rather wait for figures that are accurate. I mean, if they can get oh, accurate agreed. figures out. Like, at the same time, then great. But most of the time, I feel like Kenobi was the outlier. Like, honestly, kind of surprised how accurate a lot of the Kenobi oh, figures are. the Kenobi are. figures are top tier. Yeah, and they're so... They're just randomly so good with the soft goods. Mm -hmm. Right. Making a huge return with Third Sister, Grand Inquisitor, mm -hmm. Vader. Because it's even different soft goods than the original Vader. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, sheesh. They're, like, shorter... Or something. Later, Riley. Have a good day at work. Have a good shift. Have a good shift. Yeah, Jesse, we need to cook. Uh, Wrong yeah. show. <laughs> Jesse. Yeah, Galactic they're... Marine. I'd For love real. to see it. I th I think easy repaint too. I think we're gonna see Bakara with the Galactic Marines because we usually get the commanders and their corresponding Jedi General. Because mm -hmm. we're getting Ayla Sakira for Commander Bly. We have Captain Rex for Anakin. We have Commander Cody for Obi Wan. It's true. It's true. Who else do we have for commanders? We have uh, Fox. We have Wolf, Wolf for Plo, Plo Koon. Koon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
So I I have high hopes that we're going to get Bakara. Hopefully we get a Luminara for Gree. That'd be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. That'd be oh, so yeah, tight. Because she's there in the Battle of Kashyyyk. You mm-hmm. see her for like a split second. Yeah. Yeah, we we do need the Airborne Trooper, which they have the helmet. They literally have most of the pieces. Yeah. Just I, like some different overlay chest stuff. I hope they wouldn't use the Purge Trooper body, though. I hope they would use the oh, Rex yeah. body. Oh, yes. Because that Purge Trooper body sucks. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, like Kabash Figures has a custom of it using the Commander Bly. Ooh, that's good. Like They can mm-hmm. do it. They can do it. Yeah, Daniel Hayner. Reva is an amazing figure. Straight yeah. up. 100%. Great likeness, great articulation, good new sculpt. Everyone thought they were going to reuse the second sister parts. Yep. Three Sockers. lightsabers? Yeah, three yeah. lightsabers. So random. Crazy. <laughs> it's awesome. And on that man. note, I need to use the restroom. So now it's my <laughs> turn to leave the stream. Bathroom breaks for everybody. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to make it, but. You know, normally I can get through the whole stream, no problem. Not today. Not today. Not like Justin. He's always got to take a bathroom break. (laughs) But uh, yeah, so Lucas, how are you feeling about the Kenobi figures you have so far? Are are these the only four that you have at the moment? These are the only four that I have. I did see uh, Tika in store, like I said, but I didn't pick them up. Mm -hmm. But for these four, they really surprised me, at least with the three new ones really really like blew me out of the water i was not expecting them to be so good yeah and then yeah. vader which is surprising because my vader review is actually now my most viewed video on the channel Damn. really surprised me but it's just a re-release of a new hope vader mm-hmm. and i mean it's not a bad figure by any means but i feel like they could have made an updated sculpt or even reuse pieces from empire strikes back and it would have been better yeah i, I really feel like it it it's a little bit of a stinger. They didn't include the butterfly joints. Yeah, that would have been that would have been nice on Vader. Uh, but I haven't got wandering Obi Wan yet. Um, how is that figure? I think it's the best Obi Wan we've gotten so far. Uh, it's pretty close to like Clone Wars Obi Wan, but mm-hmm. I do think wandering Obi Wan is just a smidge better. Maybe. Um, does he have butterfly joints? He does. Yes. Okay, they're just well hidden. They are very well hidden, yeah. Nice. Yeah, they look great. That I still don't have Obi, but I do have Fifth Brother and Reva, and they're just amazing. Mm -hmm. They really are. I cannot wait for Grand Inquisitor. Yeah, Grand Inquisitor is going to be sick. Even Fourth Sister, which, you know, she's just kind of there. It's like, she's probably still going to be pretty awesome, too. I I really wish the Inquisitors just had a bigger part in the show, Mm -hmm. because they were kind of, like, hyped up a lot in the trailer, and then they were just kind of there on the show, like... Fifth brother was only in like what three of the episodes, maybe. Right. And I would have loved to see more Fifth Brother. Grand Inquisitor, who is like my favorite character of the show. Yeah. Barely in it. Third sister. Yeah. Hello. (laughs) Hello. (laughs) That was really good. Yeah, but we were just talking about the Kenobi figures and how good they are. And I was asking Lucas about wandering jedi obi since we don't have him yet yeah Yeah. i have like every figure from kenobi aside from obi-wan kenobi (laughs) what happened to crate luke rise of skywalker luke and leia in (laughs) hk47 we all know what happened i I think crate luke got canned i think rise of skywalker luke and leia might still come out eventually they're they're still rumored i believe but at this point who knows it's it's getting a little grim for them HK-47, though, I could see being just fine. Although what, yeah. what I am interested in and what I don't think we've really discussed at all is what's going to happen to the KOTOR figures now that the remake has been canceled? Because <clears throat> they did pipeline reveal Bastila Ashan and Malik. <laughs> True. And while they showed old images from the original game, uh, they did have the remake logo branded above those pictures. Mm. Yeah, I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, "Ooh, please hopefully don't... they just pivot and do the classic looks." Yeah, I feel like that's what they'll have to do. Yeah, I think it's 
I still want him. I st- <laughs> bottom line, I still want him. But yeah. maybe they were going to dedicate new sculpts to them for the remake, and that's why they pipelined them. Yeah, cause because they're in mainline, right? Yeah, they were mainline. I think they were mainline. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. So in, in theory, they'd be newly sculpted figures, but I really don't think there's a whole lot you could reuse to get Malik or to get uh, Bastila. You know, maybe you could mm-hmm. Frankenstein like some Leia parts together, but yeah. it wouldn't be like, you know, Bastila. Mm-hmm. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Indefinitely delayed, canceled, whatever. It's not coming out. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that same with Star Wars Eclipse too? Didn't that one get like delayed indefinitely? Yeah. It's Which that trailer like... looked so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Reese Cat, what Bad Batch season one characters do you still want? Clone Trooper, regular Phase Two Clone Trooper, please. Speaking hey. speaking of which, do you think we'll see one in the Andor box? Considering we have seen him in the trailer. Yeah, we actually made a video about that. About a big, hopefully a big possibility of finally just getting a regular Phase Two updated figure. Mm-hmm. Um, it'd be great. For army building, great for custom fodder, so you'd have customizers buy customizers buying multiples as just a good base. Who wants to get in now? Well, you got up when I went to the bathroom, now you wanna get back in? <laughs> here. Come here. But yeah, um I don't know, what other characters did we have on our bad batch list? Now that's a great question. That's a really great question. I think I think the biggest ones for me would be Hauser and Gray. Would be the oh, two yeah. biggest ones for me. Yeah. Those are probably the ones that we have on our list. I'm checking yeah. it out. I'm doing some I, research. I literally Oh, uh even though I'd want a new sculpt and if they did a new sculpt there would be hell to pay because then they could have done Delta Squad on new sculpts, but <laughs> the um just the regular commandos, just the white outfit, kind of like Battlefront mm-hmm. 2 style. And yeah, Miles, uh, TK Troopers, I'd be down for that as well. That'd be cool, yeah. Then they could always re-release it in like the Ralph McQuarrie concept art uh, line too, if they wanted to. Yeah. What about you guys in chat? Um, yeah, I would... <laughs> Hauser with his haircut. And then uh, Commander Gray, right? Yeah. The green. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some Kaminoans. We get a uh, cool. Tan Wei. Tan Wei. Mm. Oh, we have uh, Depa Balapa on our Bad Batch wish list. Depa Balapa. Depa Balapa. I have a suspicious feeling that the reason we haven't got Scorch yet is because they're going to put it in the Bad Batch packaging without <laughs> like the big backpack no. and all the, the extra stuff he needs. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have fa- a feeling. Phase one stormtrooper. Yeah, the TK trooper. Yeah. Rebels Gar Saxon. I mean, I'd take them. We Hell need yeah. a lot of rebels figures. Yeah. Yeah. Which is unfortunate because I feel like we're not going to get any of them. Nope. I feel like. Moochie has. <laughs> I feel like our our chance for some rebels figures came and went. Yeah, we still need Agent Callus. Uh, he's he's such a good character. I feel like if there was one more Rebels figure we could get, it's Agent Callus. There's more Agreed. that we need. <clears throat> I'd love to but... see Governor Price. Yeah, true. We have a female Imperial officer body with Tala now. That is uh-huh. true. Yeah, I would. I'd like to see her just to put her with Thrawn since she's you know kind of prevalent in that first book oh yeah i, I would, I would also take gar saxon clone wars over rebels yes mm-hmm. i uh i never picked up archive thrawn and i really wish i did everybody's still pretty cheap but i probably need to jump on that before he because you know when he shows up in like the new ahsoka show or mando season three he's gonna like skyrocket in price so i probably oh, should yeah. pick one up pretty soon yep brace for it <laughs> yeah i actually i did that's one of the few figures I photo real updated. And it's funny because, you know, there's no actor for them to photo reel onto the Thrawn figure, but it just looks <laughs> yeah, a lot true. better. It mm-hmm. just, it looks a lot cleaner. True. I got mine right here. 
boom. Yeah, Photo Real Thrawn was actually a actually a solid update. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just love Thrawn. Such a good character. Yeah, but even like going back to Rebels, like just the main cast in their different season yeah. looks, please. Yeah, like season three or four, Buzzcut right. Ezra. Right, like that's mm -hmm. that's kind of what. I mean, it would be like you know because we already have the Ghost Crew, but I'm like, damn, I would love to have like season three Ezra, something like that. Mm -hmm. Where is that Black Series bald badass Lobot, dude? <laughs> like seriously, one of the last big like Empire Strikes Back figures mm -hmm. that we need. Hey, they could probably reuse Lando's legs. <laughs> Lando legs are <laughs> just great could. reuse. Yeah. All they'd have to do is give him uh, I I've got the vintage collection figure right here. Let's see. Lando legs for sure. Definitely they're just generic them. legs. Like who cares, right? Yeah. But I like, will say uh, Lando's legs, the boots go over the pant leg though, so hmm. maybe not. I don't know. Well there's Empire... gotta be some legs that look like that. Empire strikes back Lando legs. Oh uh, okay. I was I was thinking uh general lando true i was thinking general lando to it first but you know they'd probably have to do a head head arms maybe they could find something clever for the chest but lobot is yeah. so doable lobot is mm -hmm. so doable yeah daniel qui-gon was worth it qui-gon was worth it more than thrawn i would say oh Agreed. for sure Qui-Gon was top priority, even though they didn't include the alternate force hand, which I thought was Those some real, bastards. Those real bastards. bullshit. <laughs> but yeah, any any other version of Sabine, any other version of Ezra, I'd even take a more rebels looking Bo-Katan. Mm -hmm. oh, I think yeah. a Clone Wars Bo-Katan yeah. would be cool. Yeah, true. 100%. Yeah, nine numb. Yeah, where's... uh? Where's 49 or Brian? Yeah, 49 or Brian. I know He's you're been here. Summoned. <laughs> but uh Yeah. Um yeah, Lobot is wearing the puffy shirt from Seinfeld. Guess Lando was a low talker. I that'd be such a I'm serious. Like what other Empire Strikes Back figure is there? Will Rowe Hood. Yes. Uh, Give him uh, the, the the Cam Tono. Yeah. Yeah. I think the um, Bespin Leia in the red dress. 100% oh, yeah. would love to have red dress Bespin Leia. Uh, back to Tank Luke would also be uh, yeah. interesting. If they included the entire back to Tank, I think it could be a really cool piece. Oh! There 49. he is! There he is! Yes! We, we summoned <laughs> 49er summoned. Brian. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I yeah, will somebody... say, I think... Uh, go ahead, go ahead. You go ahead, you go ahead. So I, I think that we need a new Bespin Luke mold. I think that the original one from, was it, like 2013 or 14 that they re-released yeah. on card? is yeah. It's a decent figure, but it doesn't live up to today's standards. I mean, yeah. I just got the Dagobah Luke, and that one has a brand new legs that are literally the Bespin legs, but pinless, like really good. And I feel like yeah. they could just take that figure, maybe throw like an overlay, and then add new arms, and you have a brand new Bespin Luke. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would definitely rebuy bespin luke because that figure just leaves a lot to be desired mm -hmm. yeah uh, more wagner we have done that we used to do a little series well we do it every time there's a new movie or show yeah but we have gone back we've done the prequels twice because we did the entire saga like years and years ago and then we rebooted it to see like what figures have come out yeah but, and we did do phantom menace attack of the clones for the 20th anniversary which didn't happen Right. And Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't done updated <laughs> versions of Star Wars Empire and Return of the Jedi, though. Yeah. However, we have done, like, Mando, Bad Batch, Rebels. We've done all the shows. And they're all conveniently in one playlist, if you check it out on our channel, Black Series Wishlist videos. Oh, yeah, I forgot we had that. They are all conveniently located in one playlist location although i just noticed that the attack of the clones video is not in this playlist yeah because it was like more of a topic related but uh 
I'm trying to show you. Where is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, there it is. Yeah, so we do have... We need a Captain Nita. Agreed. <laughs> it's one of our newest uh, playlists. Yeah. Black Series wishlist videos. It's all of our wishlists that we've done. Even into the cringe era of... Oh, uh, yeah. The face mode. Look, Figure it out, episode three. Should we take a gander? Oops. Oh, nice. Not Anthony's customs. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, yeah. Crooked oh, camera. Oh, no. Crooked. Here we go. Epic. Cro crooked camera on the green card hey, table. Hey, look who ended up coming out. Hey. We, we were so right. Yeah. What year is this? 2017. Back when yes. Bucky used to be on the channel yeah, uh, and figure it out gamorian guard dude i'm just hasbro used to watch our videos darth nihilus <laughs> general uh kit fisto he came out nice nice these are Mace? some good yep these are some dude, good tell tanks. me tell me every figure in this video came out oh plo Koon. nice all oh, imperial gunner we still uh... We still don't have them. Ventress. Ventress. Count Dooku. <laughs> See, this is how privileged you guys are for all you people who started collecting in 2020. This is the sort of things we were begging for back in the day. This is a great example. We're Count hard, Dooku. Hard on back then. Uh, yeah, fan Phantom Menace, everyone. Cat. <gasps> Captain Rex. <laughs> oh, no. Please give Captain us Captain Rex. Rex. All right, I'm done. I'm done. Nice. <laughs> but that's I mean, the sort of stuff we were begging for. Technically, or no, no well, because that picture we used for Clone Wars Rex, he's got the blue lines, but the Rex has the gold lines. Yeah. Hmm. But he's not old man Rex. True. Right? Because isn't his helmet in Rebels? That's where the gold lines come from? Or I am I mistaken? No I have no clue. Either way. Either way. Either way. But yeah, we were hard up back then. Hard mm -hmm. up back then for some just any common major prequel character. Yeah. Uh, best Han sculpt? I still think my favorite Han Solo is Empire Strikes Back. Bespin Han. Yep. I think Bespin Han wins it. Uh, Endor's pretty good, but I think where Bespin Han wins is in the face department. Agreed. Better sculpted face. The yeah. Endor Han kind of has a big head. He has a really big chin. Yeah. Almost kind of has like a Bruce Campbell-y look to him. I could agree with that. <laughs> Cring cringiest figure Hasbro could and probably will make. I So I was thinking about like, what if they go extreme with the holiday stuff and they do like a clover, like a four clo four leaf clover trooper or like an a Easter leprechaun. Yeah. leprechaun trooper or like Valentine's Day heart trooper or something like that? I could see them doing that, too. And that's the problem. <laughs> what, what if they actually did? OK, hear me out. Gaming greats pink Darth Vader from from the pink battlefront skin <laughs> i'd buy it oh wait there's a pink battlefront skin for vader yeah pink vader i'm Is pretty it sure from that... the newer like battlefront 2 yeah 2017 or maybe it's a mod no oh, yeah it is a mod well let's bring it into canon and let's get pink darth vader i mean <laughs> i'd buy it i'd buy it Honestly, that looks kind of dope. I'm not, I'm not even going <laughs> to really lie. Does. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> not going to lie. Here we are talking ourselves right. into more shameless <laughs> repaints. Hey, Tomas has a great one right here. Easter Bunny Jackson. It, oh, it no. makes it itself. It Tomas. makes it itself. I don't know if you guys know, but Jackson is like my, the most hated figure on the channel for me. I cannot stand Jackson. What? I Dude, love Jackson's that Jackson great. figure. I actually don't have it. <laughs> I, I actually don't have it. Shit, what's why your, not? What's Pink your Vader? beef? What's your beef, Luke? Yeah, what's the beef? It's I I just thought it was a really dumb figure that they could have done any other comic book character and it would have been a better figure. And then every time I saw it in store, like a comic book figure in store, it was always Jackson. No other figure was there. And I was just trying to find shirtless Darth Maul. 
but all I could ever find was Jackson. Yeah. I get it. I get. It. I mean, we definitely hated on that figure uh, before we had it, and then I got it in hand, and I was like, "Oh, actually, I kind of love this thing." I do think it's crazy just for obscurity. Like, it's just the most obscure, off the right. wall. Who knows this character? And the fact that we we get that in modern time, like my case, kind of makes a good case for it. Um. Because I think he said that's, like, one of his favorite figures, just as, like, just the most random, obscure, off-the-wall character. Yeah. Because Brent still has his 70s comic. Right. And, I mean, Jackson is has appeared here and there in modern Star Wars comic books as well, but definitely a super deep cut. And, honestly, the combination of using, like, the X-Wing pilot Luke body mixed with farm boy Luke worked out really well. Like, it gives him some really nice articulation, too. Yeah, Michael Cherry. You know what they could do is the Death Troopers, like, the the Legends Death Troopers. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Or I is know. that not what I'm thinking of? Oh, that's like the Zombie Trooper book, right? Yeah. yeah. Give us that'd this. Be dope. I know, yeah. I know. Marvel Legends like knocked it out of the park with like the zombie Captain America. So I'd love to see a zombie stormtrooper. That'd be dope. Yeah, those zombie figures look pretty good. Like the new uh, Iron Man one looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Daniel, stop <laughs> it right now! I'm gonna bonk you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd love a nine numb. General yeah. Lando needs his buddy. General Lando needs his buddy. Like, Next yeah, year, we need we, we need nine nub, but we also need a fives. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and both, I feel like both are easy figures too. Yeah. They are though. Yeah, I really liked uh, Landspeeder Luke's nine nub custom where he painted the Rose Tico body. Oh it yeah, looks, it looks perfect. It's, it's like awesome. okay, that's simple. Do that, Hasbro. I will take that. Yeah, and it's like for those background aliens, I have no problem with reuse. I understand like dedicating a new sculpt to and i know we all love our cantina aliens i know we mm-hmm. all love our ot aliens uh-huh, uh-huh. but the people who collect today it's it's not the same people who were collecting in the 70s or late 70s early 80s well a lot of you are still here and a lot of you are still the same all right but but the cantina aliens they just don't sell as well as they used to and that's why we don't see that much but if we can get more by utilizing reuse. I say do that all day. Give us as much as you can. So like yeah, nine sure. numb, reusing something, I'm like, sure, whatever. Just get me the figure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Agreed. <laughs> Seth Nico, we need Bendu. Bendu <laughs> has <Hasbro>. Hasbro. <laughs> <laughs> it It'd be backed by the thousands of Rebels fans, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Rebels is still kind of, I mean, it's got a little bit more respect on its name these days, but it, it, does. It's, it still is a little bit disrespected in my opinion. It mm-hmm. is. Because Rebels is amazing. I do love Rebels. I'll tell you one thing. I didn't shed no tears watching Clone Wars, but I was crying like a baby at the end of Rebels. What does that tell you? Bro, no, no <laughs> uh, tear for Satine, for Obi. That's a that was a pretty close one. That's a pretty yeah. close one. But you know, the Kanan moments. Oh, mm, that's true. Oh, heartbreaking, heartbreaking stuff. See, I like when Kiwi does this. I like when she's just calm and lays there next to me. Oh yeah. Why can't she do this for every stream? Pong Krell. That'd be awesome. That's another Make close it, one yeah. too, Ivan. Yeah, that's an another emotional moment. One. If you release Pro- Pong Krell, though, you got to release Fives with it. Yeah, it, and if you do Pro- Pong Krell, that means you have to do Dexter Jetster. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Just to get that reuse. <laughs> I think I think I need somebody to go back through the live stream and just count how many times I've said Fives on this stream. <laughs> fives. It's probably been you too many fives times. Counter. Yeah. Five. Yeah, change the title to Kiwi. Just a name, Kiwi. Yep. Well, I, she's gone. You know I had to have her. If you guys saw her in the intro, you know I had to shoot a little clip with her included. Kiwi gets those cheap clicks. 
cheap interaction. We like it. <laughs> Just exactly. dog. Dog. <laughs> yeah. Which I agree. I'm also literally the same way. Oh, yeah. I teared out for Clone Wars. Season 7, absolutely. Mm-hmm. The Blade Runner music at the end. Hey, now. <laughs> There's nothing digging. in there. Just digging. Nah, my sheet is best scar. She ain't getting through that. <laughs> now it's just turned into Kiwi Watch. Yeah. <laughs> we need a Kiwi cam. SQ's coming with, in relaxed. with an estimated 471 times. Probably pretty close. I could yeah. believe it. Probably never close. Um, Al, are the holiday figures coming out this year? Maybe. Yeah. Who, um, who knows what happened to that second wave? Yeah, I have no idea. Let's do a... Uh, here, let's go on Linus Monster's YouTube channel, and let's see here. Fives. How many videos has... Not that many. <laughs> not that no. many. Lukeness. Ru- possibly fives. Probably five. He's probably in the thumbnail more than he is in in the titles. <laughs> True. Custom fives. Possibly black series five. Lukeness, come on now, come on now. <laughs> it's coming. It gets phase it's two five. It gets six. <laughs> Which is the one where fives confirmed? It's, it's the second one from top there, I think. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. <laughs> One year ago, still no fives. What a shame. Caleb W. asks, Lukeness, what is it about fives you like so much versus any other notable clones, say Echo, Jesse, or Waxer, or Boyle? Just curious. I think I just liked him in the show the most. I don't know. I mean, he was there from season one, and he made it all the way to season six. You know, they don't normally stay stay around for that long. They kill him off a little sooner. And, um, yeah. and plus, he just looked dope, so that's probably what what kind of drove me towards him once I first started the, watching the show, but mm-hmm. yeah, kind of just stuck around for a while. Plus Jesse is not an arc trooper. He's like a medic, but he's, isn't that right? Or who's the medics? That's the medic kicks. is kicks. Okay. Yeah. So like arc trooper. And then, you know, he's, he doesn't get killed off like echo does well killed off. And, Fives is in the majority of, like, the five of her storylines in a more, like, direct way. And he, like, uncovers the chips, mm-hmm. you know, Order 66. So he's just a very important ARC Trooper character. And it's like, we already have Rex. So, like, notable five of first people after Rex, Fives. But we got Echo, which I'll also take that. <laughs> take that all day. Yeah. And plus, Fives has a sweet tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> Lukeness, get the Fives tattoo in real how life. Do you, how do you know I don't already have it? Oh, oh no. Dude, wouldn't that be sick? No, Luke, I could Lukeness never get a face has, tattoo. There's no he, way. He just has the Star Wars face tat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go straight Jesse. No. <laughs> I could respect You're it. I could gonna, respect it. Hey, the guys. Republic logo. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. We need him. Yeah, Apo. we really do. I'd take Apo as well. That'd I, be nice. I honestly would just find it really satisfying to... I mean, even though the 501st has been fleshed out a lot, like, to just keep just keep going. Like, finish mm-hmm. out the 501st with all the important players and then maybe move to, like, the 212th, you know, line of, of popular clones. Just because 501st, we're so close. We have so many. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah, who's the one with the tier? That's uh, Tup. Yeah. Tup. Get the tier. Yeah. That'd be cool. Get all of it's them at once. It's just a Star Wars. It's a Star Wars reference, I yeah, swear. It's Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Clone Wars Mall. I can't wait for that. Mm-hmm. That figure yep. looks so good. Mm-hmm. Just think, soon enough, this will be larger. Yes. And not feature a broken lightsaber. It looks pretty much the same. Yeah. Yeah, Nate, you never mentioned that on the channel. I, don't <laughs> I didn't. No, I, I and didn't. it was like right after we made that, has dear Hasbro, please start doing this with the Black Series so we can stop snapping our lightsaber. 
literally, like the next day, Maul took a shelf dive, snapped oh, Saber. No. Yeah. That's right. So, and then I and then I went, you know, I was a little upset because, of course, you know, I could just glue it back, which I will, but it's Maul, you know, I'm like Maul with a single bladed lightsaber just doesn't hit. Yeah. It doesn't hit like double bladed Maul. So I, and then I saw that the Ahsoka TVC figure is part of those cancellations. So then I just quickly panic bought another Maul so that I could have like a non broken nice. one. Great little TVC figure though. Great details. But yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that uh, we could just go ahead and sign off here. We came, we saw, we conquered. We did. We had a nice little stream here, a little over two hours, had over 200 people for a nice portion of the stream. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching. As a reminder, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new as well. Check out the channel membership. For 99 cents a month, you can directly support us and you get some cool emojis and a clone trooper name badge next to your name as well. Uh, thank you, Lukeness, for coming on the channel. Do you have any upcoming videos or any projects that you would like to let everyone know about before we head out? Um, besides the ATST, which is still kind of in the planning phase, so I don't know how soon that one will be, but um, I am starting a gaming channel which uh, nice. I'm pretty excited about. I did record uh, like an hour of Republic Commando yesterday, and then I lost all the footage, so I got to refilm. But <laughs> oh, great, oh no, <laughs> nice. But yeah, I'm excited for that. That'll be pretty cool, I think. Nice. Sweet. Yeah, and be sure to uh, check out the 1313 stream later with Lukeness and mm -hmm. Skywalker Hendrix as well. That's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely. Yeah, that'll be that'll be that'll be cool. If you got some free time this evening, that'll be coming up here. Yeah. I'll probably pop in there. I'll, I'll pop in there. Yeah. Um, join that Discord, by the way. Absolutely join our Discord. We have a great community in there. I'll drop a link right here uh, with Nightbot. Just, just join it. It's great. No one regrets it. That's no right. No one joins it and regrets it. They zero, say zero percent of people have regretted it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, as far as other videos that we've got coming your way, I'll have a Sev review up this week for sure. Also, we'll have a Nolan Cheel. I think I'm going to do something a little bit different for Nolan Cheel since I literally just reviewed Figure and Dan. Yeah, I was actually going to talk to you about that. I would just do like a little overview, like, oh, if you'd That's... like to see the articulation, check out Figure and Dan, and, but then That's... like focus more on the fun. Stuff. Right. That's that's kind of what I was planning on doing just because Figrin is such a recent review on the channel. I'm like, do I really want to give a rundown on the exact same figure? So I think I'm going to do something a little bit different for Nal and Cheel. Like you said, more like an overview. But yeah. Um, yeah. So those will be coming out. Justin's got a Black Series update. I'm not sure if he's going to drop this week or maybe a little bit later. Yeah, Who knows? I plan to edit that today. Nice. But yeah, make sure you check out Lukeness's channel. There is a link in the description. Drop a sub for old Lukeness, old buddy. And yeah, with that being said, uh, thanks, Lukeness, once again for yes, joining us you. today. We certainly appreciated having you on once again. Mm -hmm. Of course. Thanks for having me on. Check out his stream later yeah. today, like we said. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, on that note, I think that's all we got for you this week. So thank you so much for tuning in watching hanging out with us this week we had a lot of fun just kind of chilling and having a little bit more of a relaxed stream but uh yeah we will see you all same time same place next week i'm nate joined with justin see you guys later and our very special guest lukeness see you guys later and we'll see you all next time on out of the basement take care drink plenty of water have a great rest of your day check out that 1313 stream there you guys.